go ahead and start. Um, I already did. I said, who the hell clicked that button? That was me. I was like, <laughs> my bad. It's fine. Oh my God. Oh, I saw the sorry. countdown and then I was like, wait, we're not live yet. Click. <laughs> Julie said she was going to test it. <laughs> I missed that part. Okay. We're here. We made it. We got a countdown in. It's all good. It's so funny. I, I missed that part. Oh, that's so funny. I have my cheese. No, hey, have my, Eve's like, here. Eve, what a beautiful Eve. picture. My God. Um, she's a fucking babe. Damn. Oh, ASMR yeah. moment. Are we ready to kick this thing off? I already opened mine. I'm proud of you. you already opened <laughs> I haven't tried this this flavor. This is the Bud Light oh, Seltzer. Oh, I don't soda. like Bud Light orange, Seltzer. Orange soda. Oh. Orange soda. It's yeah. Let's let's give it a whirl. See, I have I have hard seltzer too, but it's just White Claw. Because I don't like how sweet the Bud Light one is, or any other seltzer I've tried. These are good. Here we go. Oh. I felt that in my butthole. <laughs> you, <you're welcome. laughs> I got light cider because I'm a little beyond. Oh, mm. that sounds good, too. That sounds very summery. Is. Austin East Ciders is like, you know, like Austin thing, so I'm going to be one of those. Oh. People. Is it good? Yeah, this tastes like Orange Crush, but not like as sweet. Uh, Not as sweet? Ooh. This is okay. dangerous. Maybe I could get down with that. Can you uh, throw me one, Aaron? Yeah. Of course. I appreciate it very much. 100 calories, zero sugar, 5% alcohol. <laughs> Savannah toilet, like you were out the gate. <laughs> <laughs> I put that on. What happens here? We talk about buds, <laughs> poop, everything. I've got to... I mean, especially if I'm here. There's no stopping the poop jokes. <laughs> yes. What Winter said, not my gong ready. Oh, Julie, how are you? I'm doing all right. I, you know, y'all know I had, some of y'all know I had the vid. If you're here from Sav's channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Yeah, please, please send a follow or a subscribe or whatever over to Julie and Aaron because they're both fabulous and I love them. Oh, we love you too. Thank you, we do. We, we've been pretty excited for this. We were going to do it last weekend, but I got the vid and, um, you know, had to heal. I'm still, you know, sound like a little coughing biatch, but, um, I'll mute myself. This is the <laughs> best. This is the best you've sounded in a week, though. You sound normal, pretty that's much. Good. That's good. I always have this like lingering tightness right here in my chest. Yeah, not great, but I feel so much better. Like I feel good. So that's good. That's, that's huge matters. progress. We're glad you're feeling better. Yes, me too. Um, I'm excited because this is the only video I've ever found of Shanna and Brandon, and they're like the two people at the very top of Elamir, and everyone's below them. I feel like we should say hi to them. Hi, Shanna, hi, Brandon. Hey, guys. <laughs> what you up? See this. They took me out of the Elamir group, and I'm pissed. It's fine. They kicked you out? Yeah. You got, I mean, did you have a sock, or was it just under you, it Julie Joe? Girl, you gotta get a sock in there. <laughs> I will. Oh, I will. There's plenty of people in there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even in there. Like, I don't have a Facebook sock account, but I have plenty of people who do so and just people. feed me the information. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. See, oh Andrew said Thank you look you good, JJ. You look Thank real you. good today. I feel so good. Um. Anyway, I, I will say this video is long. Uh, We're here all night, baby. Let's go. I know how we love it. We are. We are long live people. Uber Look. eats delivers. Okay, we're good. Uber eats delivers. <laughs> um, so don't just hop into it. Yeah, yeah let's well, freaking first. go. Okay. Uh, make sure you guys like the video if you would on all oh, the yeah. other channels, please and thank you. Yeah, Wherever um, you're at, just Dave, like it. Yeah. Exactly. Dave likes to say he gets whiplash because he likes to go in between the videos and like. And stuff so oh whiplash, well that's nice yeah you want whiplash too go to all of our channels um if you aren't sub to savannah why aren't you sub to savannah go sub to savannah oh my Please. god i love this <laughs> i love this comment i have my glass of wine and the child is asleep 
proceed. <laughs> Please that. proceed. I, it's still daylight where I'm at, so. Same. Yeah. Okay, so probably, yeah. Well, let's see, it's 5.30, so yeah. Okay, and this, so this has 2,000 views, which is actually a lot for them. And it has, like, over 400 comments, so. That's a lot. Yeah, this is, so this is July 13th. Um, this is after they launched just themselves, kind of. And, yeah, I don't know what they're going to say. I haven't watched it, reply and react, so. Ooh, let's go. First, yeah. But there's some comments on there that made me think they bring up haters. I don't know. I just... I, I blind I, reacting. Yeah, I love it. I went through the comments. And I was like, that could be about this. That's um, my favorite shit to react to is when they bring up the haters. <laughs> me too. Oh, yeah. thanks, Eve, for the links. That's super kind of you. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, Eve, you're so sweet. Thank you. Jeez. Uh, I I'm excited wow. about this. I me know. too. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. <laughs> I like to do this slow motion. <laughs> 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 like Here we go. Since we've gone live, it's I can't been hear a while, guys. Oh, there it is. That's what it's called. So you know, I I labeled it. It's been a while. Oh, did you? I didn't notice that. Yep. So we can sing this song. It's been a while. It's been a while. No. <laughs> I, so, are we gonna see comments on this? <laughs> that was inception. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> if you guys jump on, say hi in the comments. Say hi if you're here. If you're not watching this live, hashtag replay. No, I see it. Look. Hi. Hey, here. Hey, Michelle. Okay, I do see it. Yes. Yay. We have comments. Oh my gosh, it has been so long since we've been live on here. Hey, hey. Hey guys. This is that guy. So we had to come live <laughs> because we have so many. How do I turn off all these messenger chat thingies that happen? <laughs> they're, they're going off like crazy right now. Okay, so we came live because we started something new. Woo! It's not really new, but it's new. It's new. <laughs> and I will tell you guys all about it. We're gonna tell you a little bit about our story and how we got here. A lot of you that have been with us for a while and have been watching us know that we had a pretty crazy rough yep. year and a yeah. half or yeah. so, right? Yep. And um, a lot of you who have been following our journey, you know that the past year and a half, we've kind of been lost. Um, we did try a couple companies that we just didn't have our passion for. And to be quite honest, um, if we didn't have something in the back of our minds that could possibly happen, I think we would have gone back to our jobs. And the thought of that was scary because I had Hello. left my nursing, my ER nursing job probably, what, three years ago now? Why are they all like, nurses what? always? <laughs> and the thought of having to go back to that, I mean, obviously was very, very frustrating and shocking and everything. But luckily, we did not have to do that. Hi, guys. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Maya. If you guys are watching this right now, say hi. If you're watching it on the replay, say replay. Um, we want to tell you a little bit about our backstory. And I know that we didn't tell a lot. I know a lot of you have seen what we have been going through in the past like year and a half. You saw the trials, the tribulations that we had gone through. We didn't really tell our story very much. And you know what? We're not going to tonight because that was our past. And what Good. we have definitely learned is that it had to happen. We have learned so much through all of that horrible. Yes, it did happen to us. It happened before. And that's cliche, right? Yeah. You hear that all the time? Yes. But it really did this time. I mean, we had lots of prayers. We didn't tell our story about what happened to us when we um, left a previous company that uh, we were in a big depression. And lots of you saw that. We saw us lose Brandon's mom. So first off, they already hit the top of the company, by the way, if you're wondering. They're all the way up at, like, past Icon 12. What's the le legend or whatever? Legend. Well, already? I know, I know they hit Icon 12 a while back so i mean maybe so if they have i don't know if they've hit legend or not i mean i guess they they probably would have posted that but i've seen them hit icon 12. that's wild yeah i mean so icon 12 and legend i'm pretty sure it's like a two hundred thousand point difference i'm pretty sure it's like eight hundred thousand for legend and six hundred and twenty thousand or something like that for uh icon 12 so i Def for Con OV or thousand. whatever. <laughs> yeah, no joke, DEF CON 5000. Mm -hmm. But yeah, to, to, so we know that they hit Icon 11 
four and a half hours in to the first launch. Oh my god. Four and a half with no customers other than them. They still have no customers, by the way. Yep. They haven't they haven't opened this up for retail customers yet. Correct. It's so somehow and and I guarantee she's got a hefty paycheck coming too. So mm-hmm. no customers and she's making money solely by recruiting people onto her team. What's that? What's that? Let's all say it together. Pyramid ski. Good job, class. That's right. That's what I like to hear. Well done. <laughs> you know what's crazy, though, is that they have waived the customer component of the comp plan, the customer requirement. I noticed that. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. So, I already filmed. I, I, upcoming next week i have a reaction video coming to up to elamir updates and i i talk about that because i'm like i was looking at the compensation plan and i'm like but but how are they ranking up if they have no customers because to get to these cus these ranks that they're getting to you need like at least like one or two or more maybe active customers and it's like but they have none of those (laughs) so what the fuck yeah. Maybe, hey, maybe it's because the distributors are the customers. Hey. Exactly. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. And these two people know that. They they know that. It's the worst. I don't even want to think about and, how much money they're making oh just off God. this month. Well, I, well, Aaron, didn't you tell me they just got paid? Yeah, they just allegedly they got paid today. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. They were supposed to get paid last friday i thought i don't know if they did interesting that's quite strange quite questionable and like i don't get it too sorry to like keep going because there's still so much more we have to watch but there i i just don't understand like because the ceos own prove it which is a very successful mlm so it's like you should know how shit runs and how to get your people paid like at this point they're so experienced in this that i don't see an excuse or a valid excuse for them to be dropping the ball so hard on just paying their people even though i don't think they deserve to be paid anyway because uh, it's a pyramid game but you know yeah. <laughs> well, well and they're yeah. using the same payout system as prove it so what the fuck then yeah. What's the holdup? Yeah, that tracks. Um, Weird. But it's funny because Van and her <laughs> husband keep bragging like, you know, we've been in MLM for almost two decades. Well, it sure as hell isn't showing. Right. I mean, it's been a disaster, like a complete disaster. For sure. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's been bad. And Smell a lawsuit coming. we were in yeah. a dark spot for a long time. But funny thing is, I'm going to talk about how everything comes full circle because we actually... Hi guys, <laughs> we haven't been on here in so long. Hi guys. Um, we actually became friends with someone who, when we were in that previous business, we actually thought hated us. We thought that they hated us because of a lot of things that were said, a lot of things that were done. And it was funny, we got a phone call out of the blue from somebody who called Brandon and happened to connect us with this person who we thought hated us, right? Yep. <laughs> and we developed this relationship. And it was kind of crazy because we had gone through so much trauma in the previous business that we developed a really, really strong relationship based upon that trauma. And it's nice to have somebody, I don't know if you guys relate to this, but when you go through a traumatic experience in life, it's it's nice to have someone who feels the same as you do and that you can talk to and relate to, right? And I hope you guys all have somebody like that in your life because it's really important to have somebody who cares about you, who loves you, that you can just relate with and get through some of your traumas with because that's how I felt. And so about maybe nine months ago, would you say it's nine months ago? I think it's around nine months nine, ago. Nine, ten, something Nine, like ten that. months ago. Um, we got Trauma bonding this is right. product that we tried. And it was raw form. It wasn't in a strip. We're going to tell you about our strips. I know you've been seeing the strips all over the place, right? We'll tell you about them in a minute. But it was at a time in our lives where we were having a lot of um, sadness. That's the only, that's the best way I can put it. And there was a time when I felt like I couldn't even get out of bed. I felt like I disappointed my family. I felt like... My kids were traumatized because of the situation. We didn't know if we were going to have to sell our house. We didn't know if we were going to have to go back to work. But what did wind up happening is that we tried this product and it was at a time when everybody needed it. Everybody, right? We didn't know what the product was going to do and we didn't know what the product was for. But we got sent this raw product. Wasn't on a strip. 
everybody needed the product, but you didn't even know what the product did. What? She said, this time, it was a time when everyone needed it. But we didn't know what it did, we didn't know what it's for. <laughs> what? I can't believe those were so close together in a paragraph form. Those sentences <laughs> were like back to back. Uh, the jokes write themselves at this point. <laughs> okay. The hypocrisy is I just know. like pfft, right in your face. Yeah. There's no denying it. Oh, God. But trauma bonding was such a good comment because it's true. Like, it's all about being relatable. Yep. And the past two years have been really difficult for a lot of people. Hunter, hi. Hey, Hunter. Um, but yeah, so I hate that trauma hi, bonding. Hunter. Is a good comment. Yet, guys, we got told try this product. Carly says 10 months. 10 months. Okay, Carly. It was 10 months. Okay. Um, we got told try this product and call me in five minutes and i'm not gonna lie i was like okay we're just gonna trust you we're just gonna trust we're gonna trust this product because we knew who was backing this product we knew where it came from and i'll just i'll tell you about that in a little bit but Harry, we took this raw form of product and i'm gonna tell you guys we put that stuff under our tongue <laughs> it was a liquid form at the time and it was horrible yeah <laughs> That's, that's oh no like no <laughs> i was like is this what it's gonna is this really what it's gonna taste like but i will tell you i, I trusted and i said okay let's trust the process let's go right and i started cleaning the kitchen i started doing the dishes and the first thing that i noticed was that while i was doing the dishes i got this like i noticed that there was this big smile on my face and i'm like i'm doing the dishes and i'm smiling <laughs> Right, and so I looked over at Brandon, and Brandon had taken it, and he was in the living room, and he had this big cheesy yes. smile on his face, and he said to me, "Babe, are you feeling this?" And I said, "Yeah, I am. I'm feeling this." We didn't know what we we're supposed to feel, but we stop, did call. Stop! 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 Please, it sounds like they're on speed. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Kraft? <laughs> that's also that's running through my head. Are they feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Um. <laughs> I mean, like seriously, five five minutes. Really, you're gonna tell me that in five minutes you guys just look at each other and you're just like, "Yeah, baby." Yeah, this is definitely working. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> so, and like someone said in the comments, like, why why would you take something that like you thought these people hated you and it was just like a raw yeah. product? You just took <laughs> it. Like, what? You're <laughs> asking to be poisoned. <laughs> mean this liquid product. I don't know what it does. Sure, I'll try it. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, so you were high. Yeah, what did, are you sure that they didn't like lace your shit with something because that's not normal and that doesn't happen when you take a fucking vitamin. Like to be sitting there and looking at each other and going, oh yeah, I feel it. That's Do you guys know that there's like a Snapchat filter that like permanently makes your face just look like you're smiling or leaving? <laughs> Yes. That, that's like, if you know what Snapchat filter, like, I just picture them both just, like, making eye contact with each other, oh and they're just God. like... <laughs> that is so funny. She's all doing I the saw... dishes, and he's, like, vacuuming, and they're like... <laughs> My question is, what the hell are they feeling? Like, this Maybe it's that. ecstasy, dude. Like, oh, what oh, is in this shit? A liquid form, that's, that's absolutely right. Hiding behind the proprietary blend, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I just need to put out here for legal reasons. I'm joking when I say that there's drugs in <laughs> in this. I mean, I don't know. I mean, but we this video is for but education this... and entertainment purposes only. Um, but I'm just making a joke. But also, like, does it not sound like they're doing some kind of drug? Sorry, not sorry. I mean, like, this is what drug addicts sound like. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. The, Fuck. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's they're doing it in such a weird way, and they keep like contradicting themselves. I'm like, if you're gonna if you're gonna sell it, like if you're gonna say something, then say it with your chest, and like just be a better liar. Like that's how I am with these people in MLMs. Like if you're gonna lie, which you are, then why don't you like do it well? <laughs> because you're not even a good liar. No, it just <laughs> is ridiculous. It's like embarrassing. Facts. Seriously. Okay. And I said, man, I don't know what I'm supposed to feel. I don't know what this is supposed to do, but I'm going to tell you how I feel. And she's like, yeah, I want to know every single thing. I want to know exactly how you guys are feeling on this. And I, so Brandon said to me, with, I was telling her, I was like, I feel happy. I was like, the greatest thing is I can't stop smiling. But what it also did is it allowed me to kind of, I don't believe it. Oh You're on so ecstasy, sir. I always, I always got a hundred things going on in my mind. I'm thinking about the grass. I'm thinking about getting the pool clean. I'm thinking about, oh my gosh, the filter went on my, there we go. We have, there's no way. 
I have a filter in my room. So I always have hundred bucks in my mind. And what it did is it allowed me to calm down all my thoughts. You do? You have lipstick on, babe? It allowed me to calm down all my thoughts and just focus on whatever I want to focus on. I know you are. I don't know what I would say. We have some You have the filter on. I don't. That is the craziest thing. Now I, oh, wait. Now I have it. I caught it. I caught the filter. You can catch it. It's like a, a weird catchy thing. That's so weird. Anyway, so. That's so raven. filter on, guys. It's out now. Sounds like they took it before this live. <laughs> anyway, so when. Something. I asked. I said to Dan, listen, I don't know what I'm supposed to feel or what this is supposed to be, but I can tell you how I feel. I feel like I'm cleaning my kitchen and normally, right, I have triggers. I have reasons that I, I feel very like on edge. And most of those are like, I don't know about you guys, if you have teenagers, okay, I got teenagers. And they come into my kitchen and they go into my refrigerator and they pull out food and they make a mess and they leave it there, right? And I said, I just clean my kitchen and I believe that if my kids came in here and started making that same mess that they always do, that I just let it roll off my shoulders. That I just felt like there was this overwhelming calm sensation that I felt and I would not have cared if my kids came in there making a big ruckus making a mess and she said that is exactly how you should feel and we are moving forward <laughs> with this formula did. and guys that product I knew from way back then when we first tried it in its raw form how many people's lives that we were going to change with this product but babe <laughs> stop giving parts from your phone <laughs> he's supporting us from his phone now you have lipstick on again I have to catch it again that is so did you see that? It was this like is some kind up, of craziness. Right? I just like yes. right and I catch the lipstick. It's very, very like odd. double time. Anyway, so really? I knew how many lives we were going to change, but the wow. problem was is that she didn't 1. know what was going to happen or oh, if it okay. was going to happen. And so we had to kind of move on with our lives, right? Because we just didn't know if it was going to happen. So we did. We moved on with our lives. Well, we sort of moved on with our lives. And, you know, we started a couple other businesses. And we just, it's not in us not to try and not to run and not to like, you know, really, really, truly focus on businesses, but we had no passion at all, at all for anything that we were doing. Because I think in the back of my mind, I kept thinking, what if, like, what if for some reason she can figure out this product? What if for some reason we can move forward and start a whole new life knowing that we can change so many lives with this product? And guys, I want to stop right here and tell you guys, I, I don't know who's on here watching right now, but there are some haters. Like haters, yes. haters. Like I've never seen so much hate in my life, but the only reason that could ever, ever be is because people are afraid of what we have. I'm shaking in my boots, bitches. I'm so scared. I'm so scared of your yellow fucking strap. I hate, why do they all say this? Like, I know they say this to be like, oh, the network marketing industry is scared of us because we're going to change up the game. But it's like, okay, but we're not, we're not in that. And we're definitely not scared of you. And yeah. you would consider us to be haters. So, like, then what are we? I ain't scared of you. <laughs> I'm you know, super not. I wish one company who said they were going to change the game would actually change the freaking game. Right. There's they all just do the same shit. Exactly. Jesus. Sorry, my dog just shook her ass off. You good? <laughs> <laughs> Does she need to pick it back up? Is she okay? <laughs> She'll get it. <laughs> she flew across the bed. <laughs> it's very interesting to me that they're saying that anybody that is going against them are haters. But what's interesting about that is the fact that they're the ones that are on the defense. Right. Like we're not defending what we're doing and what we're a part of. We're educating, we're raising awareness. Like I say in every single one of my videos, we're not the ones that are calling them haters. We're the ones that are educating about the pyramid scheme that Elamir is operating as. We're the ones that are educating on the health claims that their CEO still says, oh no, that doesn't happen. Okay, read the whole Reddit thread. Go to the hashtags on Instagram or Facebook. You will see tons of health claims. Now we're just waiting for the income claims because we know that that's probably- They're coming. already making them. Yeah. It's wild. Like you posted an Instagram and I reposted it on an Instagram story a few days ago, Aaron, of a DM where someone was trying to recruit someone and they're like, I already made $1,200 this month. Right. It's like. Yeah, they're already doing it. Yeah, right. Well, I saw that. And when I was on a recent opportunity call where they were just talking about testimonials pretty much, you know, because that's what they do. And mm -hmm. Shanna and Brandon had to keep putting a disclaimer in the comments of this video saying Whoa. like, you know, Elmir does not, you know, t uh, treat or cure or blah, blah, blah. Because people kept saying like it did stuff like that. 
Is that just because she's like assuming it's gonna get recorded by one of the real haters here? <laughs> and then we're gonna like show their shit? Probably. That's, yeah. Just That's to like cover it. their ass. So they know, like they they all know that they're not supposed to be saying and doing the shit they're saying. So like, and I was even looking up to finish because I'm finishing up that video I was talking about earlier. Um, that they, they're all starting to say that this causes weight loss now because yep. it's an appetite suppressant. And when you look it up on Google, like nowhere has it ever claimed that any of the ingredients are appetite suppressants. There's no scientific backing to that at all. And they're all sticking with it. And we're going to see a lot of people like, I lost 25 pounds on Elamir. It's like, how? Why? No, you didn't. You're a liar. No, you lost weight from um, not taking in a certain amount of calories a day. Yeah, yeah that's, that's usually how it works. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's so wild. That is the only reason that so much hate can happen. Now, I can see people. The only reason? <laughs> that's like, it oh everybody's promoting a product that they haven't even tried and people it's are one. using post-it notes and they're using cheese first they of were. all i, I were. love cheese <laughs> i love cheese just letting you guys know but you know it, it's just so crazy that i should have went into my forest i'm saying like i love cheese i love black cheese i love yellow cheese <laughs> But yes, the yeah, faces we jealous, all just I'm sure, I'm sure. But <laughs> here's the thing. Jesus. All of us have been fighting for so long. And I don't know about you guys, if you have any children in school and you know what bullying is like. Oh God. And I hope that none of you, I hope none of you have to experience what we've experienced throughout middle school with our daughter. Because if you know what bullying is like in middle school, high school, I mean, at this point, with how this world is, maybe elementary school, okay? We have dealt with it with our daughter and it has been devastating. Devastating because I saw a child who was so full of life and so full of love wind up coming home every day worried about her appearance, worried about what people were saying or thinking about her. Um, you know, just completely her mind, she said her mind was always all over the place and she didn't know what the right things to say were. She well, I, I think it's important for us to get this really, really fucking clear. Um, there's a difference between bullying and holding people accountable. What her daughter's going through sucks. And it's so and sad. It's tugging on my heartstrings hard right now. Yeah. yeah, it's awful. And the majority of us have very likely been bullied, especially in grade school and high school. And it's awful and it should not happen. What we do is not bullying. Now, does it make you uncomfy? Maybe, yeah. Uh, does it make your fifis hurt? Are your little fifis hurt when we talk about how your company's a pyramid scheme? Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Of course. Are we wrong? No. 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 <laughs> but but I, I feel like I need to make that distinction. And, I mean... All the, most of the people on here are likely just people who are anti-MLM anyway, but if there's someone who watches us not, I need you to take a moment, especially from Elamir, and just use your logical brain for a second. And remember that bullying and accountability are two different things, and we do not bully. Yeah. And if we do, we hold our peeps accountable for it. Facts. Yeah. I, I mean, I know personally, like, I try to uh, make a make it a point to not, like, go after people's personal appearances and stuff. And I think most of us are like that. Yeah. Um, because it's not, at the end of the day, like, it's not about the, the person saying this shit. It's about the shit they're saying. Yeah. And that's what we're coming for. Right. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. And, like, what Samantha said, I've, I've said this a few times. I'm sure all of us have said it. It's like... Facts are not attacks, mm -hmm. but they feel like attacks. We're not ready to accept your responsibility in that. So, yeah, just wanted to cover that really quick because I know they're going to go into how they're bullied and stuff. And we, just no, we don't do that. And this is yeah. the same. We, this is the same thing that we see from the majority of MLMers that have a problem with us talking about their company. I also find it really interesting that uh, they wouldn't have a problem if we were talking about another company. Most of them would not have a problem if we were talking about another company, but the second you talk about their company, they are all up in arms. That's it's, true. It's fascinating to me. 
they won't care. But you talk about their company and they're like, oh. Well, because it's literally the fallacy that it doesn't affect you until it's directed at you. I mean, yeah. we see it all the time. I don't want to, like, bring up, like, the COVID shit. But, I mean, you know, it's like they don't get, they, they wouldn't get vaccinated or, or until someone that they knew died or got really, really sick. And then it's like, oh, shit. Now, I guess COVID is real. It's like, but until that point, they were like, I've never gotten COVID. I've never, you know, it doesn't affect me. So why should I care? It's yeah, basically, uh, that's, it's the same fallacy. They're, they're sitting here and they're just like, well, they're talking about Monet and I'm not in Monet. So whatever, they can hash it out. But we yeah. say the same shit about their company and suddenly it's like, <gasps> so yeah, sometimes stupid. they'll even clap for it. They're like, oh yeah, you get that girl. Anti-MLM, that's so wrong of that MLM or to yep. do. But, but when you do it and we say, whoa, you go, wait a minute, that's a bully. You're yeah. a bully. No. Good point. Well, yeah. and I think that I think that gives them the space in their mind to say, oh, well, we do things differently over here. But we're like, nah, bro. We yeah. see the same chats. We see the same groups. We see the same scripts on your board's app. Like, we see all of the same things yeah. in any company. It happens in every single company. So it's interesting to me, and I feel like that's where they try to take that kind of um, virtue signaling in order to recruit like oh yeah we don't do what Monet does or we don't do what Unique does or whatever company we do things different over here but then like when you pull the curtain back it's the same wizard mm -hmm. yeah it's like the phrase that pisses me off that that Skylar girl from Ariel says anti-MLM like I have MLM PTSD it's like yeah. you're still in an MLM though so <laughs> But Something not this company. This company is different. And what That's they fail to realize is like that means nothing to us anymore because we've heard it a bazillion times from every single company. Yes. I found a company where you know, I'm accepted and I'm loved and no one's ever been mean to me. It's like, okay, well, what about this group chat that got leaked the other day? Like, mm -hmm. I, mm, They're yeah, just so clouded. Yeah, the fact that they like try to push back... Hun, I've read probably 30, 40 income disclosure statements, compensation plans. The fact that you think you can read one better than me, like the fact, <laughs> that, like the, the fact that you're like, you don't know what you're saying. Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> and, uh, I've read many of them, including your companies. And they're like, what you're saying is wrong. And I'm like, contact your company. Because okay, but not even company. like, not even like I've read so many of them. i studied them like i have exactly. spent we've all spent days if not weeks reading through it over and over trying to comprehend everything so that we can report on it, it they they don't got shit on that they don't they can no. say they do but they don't absolutely not yeah absolutely not. word she's worried about that about what people might say about her and guys i've seen bullying i've seen my daughter change it from a person who and if any of you guys know my daughter, put it in the comments. If you know my daughter, you know. The girl the, the girl talks to, about anyone. She takes after Brandon, okay? She can talk to anyone. She can become best friends with, you know, your 80-year-old grandma who's sitting next to the pool, okay? Like, she legitly can strike up a conversation. Oh, she did not just say legitly. Up, she has the sweetest heart, okay? So for me to see my daughter... Who has legitly always, always just like pancreatitis loved and you know <laughs> when Brooke Banks said pancreatitis school and worry about out. these girls just who are so that. just nasty and you know nasty. judgmental and saying they all of these are. things and making her feel any less than I trigger I trigger when I see bullies because I know that the most beautiful people in the world have been affected by bullying okay and Name what I see, see right now in this industry you should be ashamed of yourself you i just think it is so it is you so fucking gross it's so gross that she is comparing her dumb shit in an mlm to her child who is being bullied at school oh. i understand because i hey honey i'm getting bullied too no you're fucking not this is gross and upsetting dude yeah. What fallacy is this? I know we were, t JJ and I were talking about False equivalence. Huh? Mm, False yeah. equivalence. False equivalence. I am fascinated by all of the fallacies, and it's been kind of, especially lately, 
um, because you see when you are making anti MLM content and especially you guys watching it, you pick up on the same things, but like, I want to understand what that is. What is that fallacy that they are saying these same things? And in their mind, they're, they're believing what they're saying. I remember, cause I used to believe what I was saying when I was in an MLM, mm -hmm. I used, I probably would have reacted the same way that they are. I would have found something and compared it and been like, see, I'm right. getting bullied too. You well, know? that's and like, so, I don't know. I'm I mean, that's kind of touching on, on what about ism too. It was like, well, what about that? You know? Yeah. Um, so it's kind of, it's yeah. I think they're all kind of intertwined. Those are two different fallacies, but they're connected, I think. I'm, I'm yeah. fascinated by it. I think it's really interesting. What I've been wanting to do, like, I really want to take like a Skillshare course or something on like debates and stuff because mm -hmm. it. I want to. I want to be able to like, absolutely, like recognize fallacies for what they are. Yeah. Like, cause right now I just like I hear someone say something stupid and I'm like, well, that's dumb. That's probably a policy or a fallacy somewhere, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Yeah. I, I want to know. <laughs> I'm the same way. I want to do that too. And be able to like call it out, you know? Mm -hmm. um, this comment right here though, takes a lot of fallacies to protect yourself from the cognitive dissonance. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Girl. Hey Marie. You said it Ooh, best. That's what's you, up. I do want to say if you've never been on a live with me before, I, I tend to pause it at the utmost perfect time. Um, now that I say that, it's going to be awkward. I'm not going to get good pauses when I pause the video. No, it's going to be great. It always but, is. Um, <laughs> but, so whoever said that, yeah, I do that often. I don't mean to. But, man, it really it really gets funny up in there. So. It really does. We'll see what Go happens. Go for a screenshot. It's a good time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no joke. This industry as being inclusive, as being a, a, a industry where when you come in here, you can develop your mindset. You can become confident in yourself. Right, and we we fight hard. We fight hard for that reputation. It's a, I don't want to cry, right? I don't want to cry. Oh come on! It's a hard don't. thing because about you what? know I've been in that that space. <laughs> the I've been in that space. Got her feet hurt. Right? We were in that space, and I cannot imagine a person in the world Pause, Jedi, who would sit there and bully, <laughs> like social media bully an adult. I just, I just don't understand it. I, I also never don't will. either. And if you are one of those people <laughs> right. and you're passing this around, it's probably going to go into the anti MLM world. And, right. you know, like, oh, the what, what were they calling me? The boss babe. The whatever. I mean, you're I all know. boss babes. So I, I know. I said I was gonna. No, no one said this to me, Shanna. I found it on your Facebook. I straight up found this on your Facebook. It wasn't passed around. I found it, and you didn't block me. <laughs> I just used my good old Julie Joe Facebook. You will be now. <laughs> and I'm okay. How, first of all, how does she have me blocked and not you? <laughs> I need somebody to make that make sense. Because you know we've been in this for from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But uh, I got this <laughs> gem. A gem. It's a gem. A gem. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'm You're really glad about how this is turning out. <laughs> I, I, really, I really like that she said anti-MLM. It makes me very happy. Me too. It yeah. makes me happy. I mean, yeah, I'm sure you know, just, very uncomfortable, but <laughs> just keep bringing the 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 views to us that way. When every time you mention anti MLM, people are gonna go, "What's that all about?" Exactly. You know what I love? Oops. I discovered this today. When I so I opened up an incognito tab, went to YouTube, mm -hmm. and I typed in Elamir, and I encourage all of you to do that as well, just purely for research purposes. The amount of anti MLM videos that come up when you type in Elamir, the really fascinating part to me is that somebody is running ads to appear at the top and it's not Elamir, Elamir corporate. It is actually a team member that lives in Hawaii. And I find that fascinating. That's so probably against think, their policies and procedures. Well, it's it's on there. I, I don't remember her name. Well, because I, I don't remember like who was talking about it, but I, I feel like it was like a paparazzi thing where it might have been another company. But like it, every time you like Google it, the ads at the top are always like going to a particular um, stylist website or whatever. And that's mm -hmm. not allowed. You're not allowed to purchase. Um, but I, I don't know. They do it anyway. So they get away with it. <laughs> Yeah. They never get held accountable. It was very interesting. But I encourage you guys to do that if you want. Open an incognito tab or clear your cookies, whatever, and go to YouTube, type up Elamir, and see what comes up because it's very interesting. 
I almost physically laughed at this comment. I'm just going to press play. <laughs> right? Guys, do better. Do better. You want more for this industry. What if it was your child? What? I'm just saying. You're you know, an what adult. If it was your child that was being <sighs> bullied. Well, you're you're a grown ass people. woman. Would you be okay with that? Or would you want to go kick some of those ass? Right? 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 Hold so, up. Anyway, what I've seen, the first thing that what? I want to talk about is what I've seen out there is sad. It's sad because I know what this industry can do. I've seen it. I've, I've been through it. I've been through the ups and downs. Guys, I've had it all and I've had nothing. We've had it all and we've had absolutely nothing. That is literally the perfect example of someone in a multi-level marketing company and how you can have it all and the next moment have absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. I yep. mean, perfect. Thank you, Shanna and Brandon. We appreciate your honesty and the good work that you just did for us. Much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, it was just I one less thing that we had to explain, but okay, okay. thank you. I love when they say the quiet parts out loud. I'm mm -hmm. like, that's right. Yep. <laughs> ASMR moment? ASMR moment? You just finished it? Oh, yeah. Open it up, baby. Damn, yeah, I'm like, listen. I still got like half listen, of mine. I don't mess around like, when it comes to alcohol. Like, I'm a lightweight, so I have to like those. sip. Well, I'm not saying that I'm not a lightweight, but like <laughs> I throw it down, sis. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> Let's the bubbles things. make my nose hurt. <laughs> Here we go. Bubbles. Mm. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Between oh, JJ wow. saying bubbles and Savannah moaning on the YouTube video here on the live, that's that get better than that. So much life. Where's everybody? Cheers. Cheers. In what this industry can bring to people's lives. If you want freedom and i'm not talking about money just money i had to push it back to you i had the lipstick that is so crazy anyway we have a filter guys um she is if any of you guys have experienced any kind of success in network marketing and when i say success i mean it, it even paid your gas bill it even paid your you know car payment that's success because guess what when we're working all of those hours in our business in our nine to five jobs or for me it was nursing right so it was 13 hour shifts and we still couldn't pay those bills if you're even able to pay off one Hell of your yeah, bills, that is success, guys. And Go guess sub. what? You didn't have it's to fuck into another job and we'll drive there to do that. So that's amazing, right? But anyway, this industry, we fight so hard for a reputation. So hard for a reputation, guys. And we should be supporting the hell out of everybody. Everybody who but is in this don't. industry, we should be there cheering them on because we all know what every single one of us go through, right? Why do you have to fight okay, for it so, so hard? I covered the haters. Right. We're going we're gonna to move past that, right? We're going to move past that. Yes. What I find very interesting is that allegedly, <clears throat> allegedly, that the MLM industry is not very happy with Elmerin. I just, I just wonder That's why right. that might be. Could it be? I'm not stating this as fact, by the way, but could it be that maybe there's cross recruiting happening? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, she didn't. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's like Q Sciences, you know? Like, the worst crotch recruiting company ever. Crotch I mean, recruiting? Is that what you just said? Crotch recruiting? <laughs> crotch recruiting? Isn't that what you just said? Um, no, Get her another that. drink! I did know. <laughs> I love this crust. So much crotch recruiting going on, y'all. It's, it's Friday, Friday, <laughs> drinking White Claw on Friday. This passive lipstick is killing me. Yes, it's the passivity. I'm feeling a little sassy lately. Um, Say it's a friend. What were we talking about? <laughs> no idea. Absolutely. Recruiting. No. Oh, it's, also oh. recruiting. it's also very interesting how they... Yeah, they're, they're putting posts up and stuff about the products, but when you really think about what they're trying to do, they're trying to recruit because the majority of their comp plan, I think it's four out of five ways. I think they say five ways to get paid, right, JJ? Yeah. That sounds right. So yeah. like, okay, so like four out of the five ways are from some, like from recruiting. Yep. And uh, yeah, and usually with MLMs like that say the same thing, they'll say five ways, six ways, eight ways or whatever. The, it's like, one is retail sales and the rest is team building leadership lifestyle whatever the yeah. fuck yeah they're all it's all that way yeah it doesn't matter how much oh, of the what? product you actually sell 
we know cross recruiting is happen, happening, happening, there it is, in my opinion, because how do you think we found out about Elamir in the first place? Through private DMs with yeah. graphics that had the name, you know, blurred out and all these crazy things. And that's, that's how all of this unraveled. That's how we found the name of the company, the name of the product, the ingredients is through those little private messages that you think nobody's going to say anything about. Yeah, that's how we found out. Um, you know, what's really interesting, and I can't really say like a lot about this because I, I don't know what's going to happen with it. But I was talking to someone today who's casting for a certain something that oh. they were saying that someone else they had spoken to um, the MLM that they're looking into um, has sued five people for leaving their company for Modare. They have straight up sued people for just for cross recruiting in that way, just for, yeah, leaving and then taking their whole team with them to a different MLM. So it just makes me wonder how many of those MLMs are going to be suing these Elamir reps for yeah. doing the same thing because it's in all of their policies. Like, you can't do that. Yeah. In leaving Modare another. and going to another company or leaving another company and coming to Modare? Leaving another company to go to Modare. It's the oh, same yeah. company. I just don't want, want to say what it is. Because... Yeah, no, no. That, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Modare, in my opinion, is notorious for bridge contracts. So I'm actually not surprised. Yeah. Especially yeah. But the company, the company they're all leaving from is straight up just suing their ex-distributors for leaving. Yeah. Nice. So, Crazy. So maybe they'll do the same to these Elamir people. Let's hope. We can only hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put it in. Put it. Put it in our blinders. We're putting our blinders on. The hater blockers. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Remember that song? The hater block is on. The hater block is on. <laughs> Blocking anyway, up the haters. All of those things that are going on, they have absolutely no clue what's going on behind the scenes uh -huh. because we have created. A We're all behind the scenes with you. <laughs> Wait, Shanna. <laughs> Shanna. Shanna. We're in all the groups. We're on all the corporate <laughs> updates. We're on We're all the Zoom calls. calls. What are you talking about? You can <laughs> sit here and say we don't know what we're talking about, but I see the scripts that you are posting in the team chat. In fact, I'm going to put it in my stories right now. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> I, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from this. <laughs> It's like I'm they're crazy. so in denial and they just want to make you believe that uh, these haters don't know what they're talking about. They're all liars. It's like we show proof all the time of where we're getting all this shit. Time. And it's from <laughs> your guys's Look at the comments. Live it's streams. Not just, and it's not just creators that are in it. It's supporters, people that are part of the anti-MLM movement mm -hmm. that are in all of this stuff. Yeah, I'm not in any of it. People just send it to me, so... But yeah, I mean, it's there's wild. multiple people who send me the same thing, and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, She's got on. the I sassy need... pants. Got the sassy pants on. Team Relentless. Ever heard of that, Shanna? <laughs> Team Relentless. Hold on. I gotta. I gotta do something. Poop? No, mm -hmm. but I gotta share something. And y'all okay. might not think it's as funny as me. I don't think it's funny. I just think it needs to be done. Um. Oh, damn. I feel like this is a good opportunity to check in with everybody. Like we typically do on a live. How are y'all doing? Is everybody Hi. good? Do you, do you need a refill? You need a potty break? I say potty. Yes, because I have children. And a poo poo pee pee break. I say see? that because I'm an immature child. <laughs> I love that. And you're also a parent. So I am. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't forget to like the streams. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's okay. that's his literal he's, face. He's in dead this inside. video right here, right now. Hold on, he's it's contemplating crazy. all of his life choices. It's Let's, giving. Okay. Oh, here she goes again. Ah, here she goes again. I wonder. I wonder what's hey, going Jess. on in my mind right now. Welcome, oh, thanks, Jess. What's up, Jess? Jess. Okay, I'm gonna press play, but I just needed to share that because same, bro. <laughs> same community of all of the industries mute yourself jj people who are have been through so much trauma and we've all been supporting each other we've all been a shoulder to cry on we have amazing resources we've become like a huge family guys and oh when God. i say huge family um how many affiliates do we have Sixty-five hundred. over six thousand seven hundred affiliates Here goes that's Jax. wild i know i'm sure 
We have over 6,700. And they're all under her, mm. every one of them. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong with that. We're all team relentless, remember that one? But it's not a pyramid scheme. Mm -hmm. God. They make it so easy. <laughs> like, let's keep them coming, dude. Seriously. 100 affiliates right now, but you wouldn't even know it because we are like a, clo a close knit community. Every single Saturday, we get on there with our coffee and we talk about topics and we all converse. We all are close. It's just oh, yeah, we're an on amazing community. What we have built oh. here is something so different. Oh. So that's why when all of those <laughs> Someone keeps all the crap, showing it. the minute that somebody attends one of our things, they know totally different. Totally different. So anyway, remember that disgusting stuff that I said that we drank? <laughs> that disgusting stuff that I said that we drank over like 10 months ago that worked so beautifully that just gave us this calm and calmed Sorry. our thoughts and, and, you know, made it so that we felt kind of like the things that normally would trigger us just don't trigger us anymore, right? They turned that into this strip. And yes, this is real. It's not cheese. Does it go it's right into the a post-it note? <laughs> Right. I know that lots of people are talking about that because apparently someone used a post-it note or whatever, but let's be honest, guys, this is MLM. And the previous company that I worked with taught us all launch before you land, right? launch marketing. before you land, which means that you talk about other people's experience with the product before you even get it in your hands. That's not what, what that is. What? Well, but also why? <laughs> That doesn't seem like good business strategy. No. You're supposed to be a product of the products. Have you ever heard that, Shanna? Like, I, I don't. Shanna? I, <laughs> let me tell you about the five people that has tried this shit raw liquid and this yellow piece of, of tape. And let me tell you how it cured them. That's what happened. Right. Like, Shanna, y'all look like fools. It's yeah. awful. Like, it's so, it's so awful. I mean, the fact that the way y'all launched. <gasps> Eve, thank you. Okay, oh my God, again. <laughs> same time. JJ and I do it all the time. <laughs> I was just doing it with JJ. <laughs> oh, yeah. We do it all the time. It's hilarious. <laughs> thank you. But like, they look ridiculous. And it's because of how they did it. It's because yeah. of how they launched it. Mm -hmm. Am I saying they're ridiculous? Maybe. <laughs> I'll they, say it, they absolutely are. <laughs> they look like it. And they're acting like the way they did it is how you're supposed to do it. I've not seen that ever. It's I just such a fail. But this okay. is a supplement we're talking about, too. Like, it's not just, like, makeup or something that you can, you know, show pictures of. Like, you need to, And especially for the price point of these, for 90 fucking dollars, I ain't buying that shit unless, like... I mean, I'll, I'll personally never buy it. But I would not buy that shit for $90 unless there is, like, undeniable proof that it's gonna help me. And there's just not that at all. Not only, like, does it just scientifically not have any backing, but these people have only been using it for less than a month. Yeah. They have not been using it long-term. There is no long-term anything here at all. Um, so, I guess what I'm saying is they're full of shit. This comment, I can't. No one else says. Generational trauma. <laughs> and you know what i firmly believe that this yellow this yellow pea strip is going to turn all of their tongues yellow for the rest of their life you know uh, do, is, guys okay wait is my tongue still yellow from okay. uh, i was hoping we were yeah, talking about yeah. this a little bit a little bit yeah <laughs> no, it is true yellow That's it's right. giving it's giving the thumbnail <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I bought these things. Before anyone freaks out, I didn't take Elamir. I bought these things on Amazon. Uh, they're called Nano Vita. They're um, curcumin strips. So they're basically Elamir minus the knack. Um, so I took one. I should have waited to take one on stream, but I was just too excited. Um, yeah, it stained my tongue yellow. Are you going to Photoshop um, stuff now, too? You are you going to Photoshop my tongue? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, snow. 
god. But uh yeah. It was kind of it was kind of like it wasn't that gross, but it was very like tur- turmeric flavored, like spicy Ooh. almost. So it makes me wonder oh, if yeah. that's kind of what what Elamir tastes like too. Well, I have had several people that have bought like trials just to try it quietly. Mm-hmm. And what what has been shared with me, and again, I'm not stating this as fact. Thank you, Karina. Thanks, Karina. Um, I have heard that they're gross. Uh, so, yeah. Well, oh, what? E- ah, Eve! Um, it was like $17, I think. Maybe even less than that for, I How think How many come in there? I think 30. <laughs> Um, nice. Oh yeah, yeah. There's thirty, but it does say to take two to three daily. So, <laughs> so I mean, eh. okay, okay, okay. But I, Still, I, I mean, would be about forty dollars, a little less than forty, to get the same amount that you would for Elmer. Yeah, so. Linda, yeah, true. Thank you. <gasps> Guys, thank you. Karina oh, is just out here, just like oh, throwing amazing. stickers. Linda, <laughs> thanks, Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to interrupt, interrupt you, JJ. No, you're good. It's it just uh, the price would still be better, even if yeah, you were to double those. Yeah, it just says take two to three strips daily. But yeah, it's it's the same thing though, guys. Like it's a dissolvable strip. And even the way that people were describing Elamir, saying that it's like almost like a fruit roll up texture, like it's not like just a dissolvable Listerine strip. Like it was the same yeah. same thing there. So. Uh, that's that's what that was my experience and obviously knack wasn't in there actually what i did end up doing is i ordered some knack too and i was gonna start just taking that supplement with knack just to see what yeah. happens yeah because really what's gonna be the difference what the absorption technology is supposed to be different <laughs> fuck off like whatever <laughs> okay, wait, i have questions mm-hmm. one on that box what does it say that it's supposed to do it's like joint hip or joint something. Uh, there's like a, they put a stupid fucking sticker on, like right on the label. Terrible. Like, Why would they do that? I don't know. They're assholes. Oh, it doesn't even say. Um, it said on the, it doesn't say on the packaging, but okay, I'm pretty curious. sure. Oh, no, no, it does. It says supports healthy joints, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory cardiovascular support. Okay. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and do you, do you feel anything? I mean, I feel more of the alcohol I've been drinking. Let's be fucking honest. <laughs> Love that for no, us. No, I so mean, much. no, I mean, but I do have like regular joint pain and stuff. So that's part of why I decided to like kind of buckle down and just try it. Cause I was like, well, cause like I threw out my back yesterday sleeping. Mm. Oh. Sleeping. sleeping like i i fuck i must have been laying weird because yesterday i woke up and it's like i don't know if you've ever had like i, I have a bad back from grooming dogs for 10 years but like mm-hmm. i don't know if you've ever had it where like if you turn a certain way like your entire back just like will tighten um like spasm Oh, do you get wow. those ever like so that was happening just because like it hurts so fucking bad mm. and i get that every once in a while just like muscular like weird joint shit so i'm like whatever mm. what's the worst that can happen the worst that can happen is i don't know i'll die maybe no. <laughs> i guess no, that's the worst that, that could happen but no I it'll pro- i mean if anything it'll probably just it'll help or do nothing so yeah yeah anyway well i'm interested to see what you think about it and, yeah well i'm, I'm sure really we'll interested to stories. try I really want to try the knack. It's not here yet, but um, yeah, yeah, I'm interested because knack apparently a, a lot of people have told me that they have had it diagnosed or um, per- not prescribed to them, but recommended to them to take for like OCD or other like neurodivergent things, and even like for dermatillomania and trichotillomania. And I have trichotillomania, so what if it helps? I don't yeah, know. What if? Yeah, yeah, it's worth a shot. So we'll sure. see. Yeah. But if it does nothing, then I feel like, like, I feel like I'm prime example number one of someone who should be trying it, you know? Yeah. All cats, no gluten says, how much to have y'all eat a post-it on streams? I'm not drunk enough to do that. And I ain't getting drunk enough to do that. Absolutely not. <laughs> but that's pretty funny. Um, um, also, really quick shout out before um, we continue on. Um, Janelle also gave us a super chat, all three of us at the beginning before we oh. even started. So I just wanted to make sure that, that we said thank you to Janelle for doing that. Cause that's thank you. Super kind. We appreciate you guys being here. You guys don't have to do that, but when you do, I just want to make sure that you guys know that we all appreciate you and enjoy so being here with you guys as much as you enjoy, hopefully being here with us. I so. am appreciative of anyone spending their Friday night out with us. 
<laughs> instead, well, not out in, I guess, I mean, Friday night in instead of being out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is literally one of my favorite things to do. Like, it's fun. I would rather stay in and do this than go out and not do this. <laughs> Serious? I mean, Vegas is like flooded. Some like casinos are flooded and stuff. So like, really, whoa! It's been crazy the last few days. At one point, it was like eighty percent humidity here, and I was like, I don't know what to do with this. What do we, we had ninety percent humidity two days ago. It's crazy. it was awful. Well, because I uh, sorry, like. <laughs> We're like on a long tangent here, but um, no, I looked at my weather app and it was like, it's 79 degrees outside right now. I was like, excuse me, what? So I right. walked out expecting to like want to put on a jacket and right. I was like, oh, it fucking sucked because the humidity was awful. Thank you, Christy. Um, yeah, yeah but very, we've had I mean, so many clouds. Vegas and in, in Phoenix has such similar yes. weather. It's mm -hmm. so funny too, because like I'll text Savannah and I'm like, What's going on with this weather? I don't want to. Like, I feel like I had to put a sweater on today because it was 82. <laughs> well, like, I, the humidity is just awful here. Like, I had to be outside oh. to walk from my car to Sparrow's school today, and, like, I was dying because I was carrying Griffin, too. So yeah. I'm like, <sighs> so yeah. fucking hot, dude. Even though, like, yeah, our high was like 92 today or something. Damn. But damn yeah no we got i i had like riverfront property the other day because we don't i don't know like in phoenix i don't know if it's the same in vegas but probably like we don't really have like built-in like good sewage system like drainage systems because yeah. it doesn't rain like that here so if same. it rains a lot we just like our streets just get <laughs> flooded that's how vegas is yeah okay yeah so same thing we had that the other day just just a river outside it was awesome <laughs> Well, we can crazy. press play. Sorry to. Oh no, you're good. I'm just in on. good old Austin, Texas. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hot and humid. It's the name of the game. Yeah, well, that seriously. sucks. However, what a lot of people don't know is that there's a lot of people that tried this product. Also, I put out on 1.5. If it's too fast, let me know. Already, it's perfect for me. Past, a lot, a lot of people that have already tried this product in the past, and Brandon and I have been able to watch almost 30 people, 30 mm -hmm. people take yeah. it in front of our faces. And do you want to tell them about mm -hmm. that? Go ahead, you're good. You know Brandon's a man yeah. of many words, right? Until you meet him. Yeah. But he can talk to anybody. I was talking on the, uh, online and in person, you got me. Hey, girl, hey! So, okay, when you meet Brandon in person, and if any of you guys have, you're going to know he's the one who's talking all the time in person. But when we're on videos, it's always me. So, okay, we went to Dallas, because I don't know if you guys know this, but we have some major backing by Hunter. For this company. Like, we're not going anywhere. You guys can talk all the crap you want, but we're not going anywhere. We have an amazing backing for, for this product, right? So we went to Dallas. Look, it's so weird. I just transferred it to you. It's like, me too. We prove it. Oh, no. It was magic for a minute. Anyway, that was pretty weird. What what you just did. We were in Dallas and we got to tour the warehouse. Did you stay at the show? And guys, thing? if I ever needed, I didn't. I didn't because I tried the raw product and I knew how amazing it was. So I didn't need reassurance at all. I was in this. I was in this a, a million percent months ago, right? But if I ever needed reassurance when we went to Dallas and got to see the warehouse, the LaCour warehouse, okay? Did if any of you guys know who LaCour is, right? LaCour Enterprises, we got to go to the warehouse and check it out. I'm muted. Aaron, you wanna tell them about your experience with LaCour? Oh, where would you like me to start? Oh, That's shit. Getting biatch. So, <clears throat> when uh, when I joined Prove It, when I was coming over to Prove It from Odair after being fired from Odair for being in a leadership chat, that's all. I've already done videos on that. Anyways, um, we were flown in. We were flown in. There was a group of 14 of us. I'm going to say that with my whole chest, okay? <clears throat> Not eight. Yeah. yeah. There might only be less than eight in Prove It on the Empire team still. So maybe that's why she says that. But there was 14 of us in person. Okay. And uh, they took care of all accommodations because they knew we were going to come over to Prove It. And so we did the same tour of the warehouse. We were wined and dined. Everything was taken care of. I hear that I sound like Ellen all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, thankfully, I don't treat people like Ellen does. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, so we were wined and dined. We did a whole bunch of, like, we went indoor skydiving and we did all of this stuff. So what she is talking about is being flown in and wined and dined in a... I don't even know what to what to call that. I don't, what would you guys call that? Bribery. <laughs> oh, okay, bribery. <laughs> um, right there. But yeah, I mean, that, we did the same thing, and we sat down with Terry Lacour, and we sat down with Brian Underwood, 
and we asked questions about the comp plan. They were like, don't worry about that. Just turn everything in the back office green. Um, and it's really interesting to see a lot of the similarities between Elamir and Prove It. You know, like, yeah, grooming. I think that's a great, I think that's a fantastic way of describing that. Yeah. Um, it was very interesting. Now that I look back, it is very culty in my opinion, based off of my experience of being flown in. I was actually sent a Gucci bag by Brian Underwood. Wow. Um, that's know, grooming I ever told for you guys sure. That. I've Did never I tell heard you, you say that. I should have shown you when you were here. Oh. He sent me, uh, oh, thanks, Brooke. He sent me um, a Gucci bag. It's like an $1,800 bag with a book wow. and wrote in it, um, which super kind, but very It wasn't kind because his intention wasn't there. Well, his intention now was Now to... I know his intentions. At oh, okay. the time, I was so taken back. And you have to also remember that I had just been fired from a, a you know, from Mode Air. And at mm -hmm. the time, full transparency, I was probably making about $2,000 a month in Mode Air. And so I was like, I literally have zero income. My husband does work outside mm -hmm. of the home. He does his, his own thing. But I was just like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? Um, and then I all of a sudden get this package and I'm like, what is this? And I open it up and there's a Gucci bag. So you also have wow. to remember like my mindset when I was in that place is definitely not where I'm at today. They wanted to go and buy something from Gucci. I would go and buy something from Gucci, but it wouldn't hold the same kind of value that I was putting on that back then. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, totally. So, but yeah, so then we all joined. Um, we were all sitting, uh, I, think we, I think we were sitting at the indoor skydiving place. We were in like their conference room and we were all joining. And there was, when I tell you guys hundreds, there were hundreds of people joining from home that were not the 14 that were sitting around that table. There was a whole bunch of like merch that they had put out. And when I'm not somebody that is gonna like jump across the, t the table to grab something. Cause I'm like, everybody's gonna get something. Like it's, it's all good. I'm yeah. just not that type of person. There were people that were jumping to get like a t-shirt or a blender bottle. And I'm like, y'all are tripping right now. What are you talking like, what? And, and it was complete chaos. People were joining. And I think Jesse Lee was immediately a champ, which is a rank six and prove it. So I would venture to say that what she is talking about is the same thing that I probably did, where they were wined and dined and they had, you know, probably some merch that they were given. That's probably where they got the T-shirt, like the Rolling Stones rip off shirt that they have with the strip on the tongue. That's probably where they were that given that. That's just my opinion. I don't know that as as fact or whatever. But you're probably right. I mean, yeah, because they they want you marketing, right? These are yeah. these are salespeople, but also part of the advertising team that they're not being paid for advertising. Yeah, they're their marketing team that they don't pay. Yeah. So. Get wild. Oh, thank you. You like my shirt? Um, this is from I found it. I found her. I found her on TikTok. And it, the company is called Vibrant, wait, 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 Vibrant Prestige. Mm. Prestige Vibrant Worldwide. Prestige. <laughs> prestige Worldwide. <laughs> Hot Mama Summer, because it's how we're rolling. But wow. she's incredible. She makes her own shirts. So if that's something that you're interested in and you like stuff like this, go get one, because she's amazing. OK, anyways, I'm done now. <laughs> Let's go. This and guys, the cleanliness, the testing, the levels of testing that they put their products through before it is made and after it is made, it blew me away because it was beyond my expectations, beyond anything that I could have ever thought, right? And what was really, I did it again. It was like magic. Everybody who's just catching on, there's a filter on. And we get it. <gasps> oh, I love to Anybody Thank who you. wants to see Brandon with lipstick? Oh, it's not. That's so sweet of you to send her. Anyway. We got to go to the LaCour facility. We have fun here, by the way, guys. We're very, we like to have fun, okay? We're not all, we, oh, look, I did it again. Yeah, no, I have. Stop, <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> no. Ah! Okay, so back to the problem. <laughs> so while we were at LaCour's facility, they decided that they were gonna give everybody a strip. And Brandon and I had Where's tried the, the strip many times. So we said, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cool. We get to stay in back of the room and watch all 30 people 
take this strip in front 30. of us. We wanted to see what the reaction was going to be. We didn't know what to expect, but we were like, let's just see what they say. We want to hear all their talk after they take it, right? So we were sitting in the back and we were watching them. And first, guys, you ever went on a field trip? And I want this to be interactive. Tell me, if you've ever been on a field trip in school and a bunch of people were like, they're all like in their little groups with chatter, right? And even though the person was talking about all the cool stuff, like the machine and how everything works and all the testing, right? And everybody's just in their like little corners where they're all talking and laughing and, you know. And so at one point they were like, hey guys, you hear me back there? And we're just watching. We're watching all of them like just how rude, kind of, you know, right. in their little like groups. And they handed out the strip, okay? And guys, within six minutes of them giving everybody that strip, Brandon looks over at me and he's like, do you see this, babe? And I'm like, I have goosebumps. You want to know what we were watching right in front of our faces? All of those people who are doing the little chit chattering all around the groups, right? Just like a field trip would be, they all stopped and they all were watching straight ahead and they were like, wow. Yeah, it was crazy. Like if you were there, you would have just seen everybody just kind of like focus on- So they were stoned? On. It was crazy. <laughs> it's like that- Drugs to me. Right. Do they know what they're saying? This is they like think, weird. They think what they're saying is is good. They but think how that what can they're you saying is like, see? But how can you say that, like, I think she said, what, there were 30 people in that room or whatever? And, but, like, everyone else has been saying, like, sometimes it only takes five minutes. Other times it takes 20 minutes. Other times it takes two hours. Other times it takes 24 hours. Everyone's different. Meh. Oh, thank you, Kat. Um, dude, like, you're, okay, you can't say 100% of these people all had an instant impact. You know what I mean? Like, instant impact. I love when they say that. It's so annoying. And also, like, it's, fucking placebo like it's it's a cult mentality it's a hive mind you're all in one big group together of 30 of you and one of you starts going oh, do you feel that like exactly. of course everyone else is gonna go oh oh yeah yeah i totally feel that and each product has a different amount of stuff in it like because it's a proprietary blend she says there's nothing in that strip that has been disclosed that will cause such a dramatic short-term response yeah right yeah i really want to be like creepy over this comment since it's covering my face a little bit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a giggle it's the giggle <laughs> by the like, way this is stacy everybody stacy is a pharmacist i think it's important that we highlight this there's nothing in that strip that has been disclosed that will cause such a dramatic short-term response yeah i think that is important that we talk about that I, I just, I'm not surprised. I'm not no. surprised Same. that they're saying this. The whole chit chattering stopped. They all started focusing. They all had this big smile on their face. They were all so happy and calm. And they all just looked at each other and like, wow, that's really interesting. And I'm cracking up because I'm like, this is insane. The amount of people that we are going to change their lives with this product. Absolutely. I just, I can't even imagine, right? <laughs> There's a reason why people are talking about this tiny little strip, guys. There's a reason. If because we're all are, sitting there lying I've, about I've, it. I've seen top leaders of other companies sit there putting a piece of cheese on their tongue. I'm like, eh. See, haters, they don't hate. Oh, Ew. Oh, don't hate are you going to eat so that later? Like, better. That's when gross. It's a snack I later. <laughs> Wait, they we have, literally have to rewind that. I have to hear what he, what he said. <laughs> Sorry. I heard him. No, you're fine. I heard him talking about haters, and I was like, oh, he's he's speaking up. Let's hear what he has to say. Mm. Oh, or they don't hate down, they hate up. So when they see something better, that's when they start mm. hating. That's when, they, that's, when, that's when you see all the hate come out. They hate it when people are doing better than them. Have Whatever, dude. Hate, have you ever met a hater that's doing better than you? <laughs> like, in what regard? Define better. Yeah. Maybe your, your financial life is better, but my happiness is better. You know, my, like... My uh, time freedom. Is right. Better. I'm right. scamming people. I feel pretty damn good about that. I feel I can sleep at night, so my <laughs> my rest that is better. Like, define fucking what what's better. Yeah, I feel the same way when they talk about success all the time. Yes. Like, what's the, what define your success? Top of the company, or what? You're making h uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month off of scamming people. Congratulations! I hope you well feel done. really fucking good about yourself. Mm. Like, that's not better to me. I'd rather have no money than $100,000 off of fucking scamming people. Absolutely. It's gross. Oh. Also define hater, it's subjective, Cupcake says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, too. Also yeah. that. They've literally put a piece of cheese. Talk about a bully. They put a piece Shit. of cheese on their mouth and their tongue and they go, Because your people eh. were doing it. What are you talking and about? And they start making fun of us. And I'm like, 
Wow. I was like, give me your address. I'll send you one. You'll be. You'll be I know. I'll send you one. You'll be. Okay. You be okay. Okay. What's your chest, Brandon? You a strip. Stay you with your whole send chest, you homie. And the thing is, is that it's nasty because who would join that? Who would join a leader who does that? Imagine what they do to their downlines. You're believe or they don't like or whatever it may be wait what in the world are they doing to their downlines what is, is she talking about the anti-mlm well movement that was stop exposing the fact <laughs> <laughs> that was exposing the fact that they were using deceptive marketing practices or are they talking about people within Elomir that actually were doing that, which was why the anti MLM movement started to take over those hashtags because we were seeing it. Yeah. But what is she talking about? She didn't even know. I don't think she knows. I think she's been taking too many of those Elomir strips that are clearly laced with something. If, if they're all oh having God. these crazy, oh, allegedly totally not true, but I'm just making shit up. Um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I just I don't Summer, I don't I don't get you. what she's saying because it's like she's all over the place. And the bottom line of this is she's trying to defend what she's a part of. And we're looking at this going, OK, show us the facts then, Shanna. Oh, you don't have any. Cool. Yeah. Aaron, would you like to address Summer? Yeah. Hey, Summer. Uh, I joined late. Have we found out if they have been paid? Also, thank you all for uh, for all that you do. And thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. We appreciate you. We appreciate every one of you being here. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, and oh, I was just us. asking you about the paid. Yeah. The, yeah. So I have heard today that they are, they have been paid today, but um, I'm still waiting to kind of, conf we are still waiting to kind of confirm that. So they were supposed to get paid last Friday. I'm not sure if that happened. So stay tuned. More to come. And, and this lady you. said that she was paid today, though, right? That's what you were saying. Not this one. The oh, one okay. I did a video on today. Mm, okay. Has said allegedly that she's been paid. Yeah, and if she's a paid, week late, I know this chick's been paid. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, because she's the when top they of the do pyramid. Right. Yo. Like that and bully somebody. It's disgusting. Maybe we should turn them into compliance with their company, right? It's disgusting, right? But anyway, what is she talking about? this little strip, we're moving on to bigger and better things, okay? Because this Other little MLMs? strip, what it does, yeah. it literally has three active ingredients. Three active ingredients, right? It's NAC, curcumin, and thiamine, okay? Are you laughing? What are you laughing at? Man. Oh, the stanky cookie in here. Ah, uh, no, girl, that's what I'm talking about. We don't want none of that around here. So you can keep that over there in those companies that you're representing, right? Like keep that, that nasty energy over there in those companies you're representing. Anyway. Oh. In this tiny little strip. So I want to talk heated. about all the naysayers for this little strip, right? Because so many people have said, oh my gosh, I can go buy those ingredients like at the local store. So like yeah. they're promoting like this strip that has like less ingredients than you can go buy in your local store. Absolutely we do. Absolutely we do. We have less ingredients in this little strip, but you want to know why? Because we have a technology that nobody has, okay? And it is called... No Prove one. it. Not like even fucking... The not even the Amazon stuff that Sav bought today. No <laughs> one has that technology. No. Nobody. Not even the Listerine companies. I'm nope. excited to hear her explain what diffusion is. Yeah, yeah. these, these don't yeah. exist. <laughs> these don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> They're not real. Oh my God. Stacy is like, tell me what's in it. Why do they have to hide behind a proprietary blend? Okay, you're saying that you have three active ingredients, okay, but there's other things in it, so you can't really say that. I mean, you could say active ingredients. There's more ingredients in it, and you can't even really claim that because you hide behind a proprietary blend. If you had such a phenomenal product, you would show all the ingredients, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Right? right, yeah. You've got nothing to hide if you're totally transparent, then... Release it. You caught that too, Crystal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Technology. It means that you can put this on your tongue and it's going to dissolve and it's going to go and deliver on a cellular level into your body and you are going to feel the results within five to ten minutes. Some people take 20. I'm not going to I'm not going to be the hyper today. OK, we're going to talk about real There's stats always here. OK, <laughs> we felt it within four to five minutes. I'd mm -hmm. say some people say 10. Some people say 20. And you know what? And some, some people even say. They don't, that they don't feel it right away in that first day, like oh, at all. Do, okay. But what they do say is that after they take it for three days or so, they're like, oh my gosh, 
well, I didn't feel it on that first day like you guys did. And so I was a little disappointed because I thought that I was going to feel this like amazing rush of like calm or energy. But now all I noticed is that I felt more present when I was with my kids. And I noticed that I got more done than I usually get done. Or they would say something like, I was in traffic today, guys, and I am the worst person in traffic. I am like that person that yells at everybody in traffic and it didn't bother me today. Get help. So those are the kind of results that we're starting to hear guys from this. Go to anger management. there are less ingredients in this because you should always need less. You should never need more. So if any of you guys, want, I'm not gonna go into all the ingredients and what they can do because it's amazing guys, but go and Google do. curcumin. I'm not gonna go into the ingredients of what they can do, but I'm gonna tell you some of the stuff that they can do. And I'm gonna let you know that it calms me from being violent. Right. right. <laughs> like, bro, don't brag about it. Drugs. Not letting you be violent. Drugs, allegedly, in my opinion. Anyways, yeah. look at this comment. Calmer <laughs> energy. <laughs> exactly. You can't. Ha you can't have both. Sorry, that's not how this works. It's a bullshit, man. <laughs> also, did I press play when y'all were still talking earlier? I'm sorry. I'm on the other screen to where I can't see. No, I think I was just finishing up. Okay, so <laughs> you just sorry, like made what? me shut up, but like you, I needed to shut up. So. <laughs> I'm so, if you just keep talking, I'll pause it again. I promise. Okay. <laughs> Google NAC first. and Google thiamine, right? Everybody, everybody pretty much knows about B1 thiamine, right? It can work all of your foods to energy. It's amazing brain food. Okay. So it helps those Jesus. thoughts, right? It helps you focus more and have less of those crazy busy thoughts, if that makes sense. Right? Thanks to El Amir, I didn't dies. go burn you... down my neighbor's house for letting the weeds grow too long. <laughs> Thanks, El Amir. <laughs> Oh my God. I would be in jail right now, but Elamir kept me out of the slammer. Thanks, Elamir. God bless. <laughs> this is this is prime comedy. This is what I like to see. The jokes are themselves. It's yeah. just so stupid. <laughs> oh God. Sorry. You no, can play. Let's listen to some new good. jokes. And does go look it up and see about the avail the bioavailability of curcumin and what that just means is how fast and how easily readily it can um, convert into your uh, body for you to have all of the benefits of it so if you go and buy a curcumin supplement off of the shelves you are going to notice that when you take a capsule you're going to have to take a capsule that has curcumin it says and curcumin I've had lots of people ask this question, so I want to cover this. By the way, I should say that if any of you guys don't Whatever. know who I am, because <laughs> some people might just come on here and they don't know who we are, right? What? I am an RN. I've been an ER RN for 14 years, but I also just recently got certified in integrative nutritional health. So, Dude, shut your mother effing mouth. <laughs> Did she Dude, just say that if you buy a curcumin supplement, it's like a black pepper thing? Because there's black pepper. There's no black pepper in this. <laughs> Literally, you sound so ignorant. Do not. Shanna. Anna? Shut your mouth. I like how we said her name at the same time. We did. Shanna, sh sh yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, shut your mouth. Listen, shut, 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 I think shut, it's a weird flex. It's a weird flex. <laughs> we need to do this, the three of us, more often, clearly. Do you want to make it a weekly thing? Because shit, um, I'm here. <laughs> I don't do down. anything. I don't leave my house. I'm here. <laughs> I'm always down. I know okay. JJ is too. We love we love going live. Oh okay, yeah, but fun. here's the thing. I think it's a weird flex when anybody says that they're in the medical field or they were in the medical field because to me it's kind of like okay, well, put your license on the line then. If if this is such a great product, put your license on the line, bro. Why aren't you still a nurse? Say it with your chest. Yeah, the whole chest. And listen, I'm an RN. Okay, but you just said this yellow pea strip helps you from being violent. <laughs> Wacko. Keeps you from okay? committing our then. And oh if y'all don't know, I'm in the medical field. And Aaron was too. This, it, it, drive, it, it really sends me up the wall. Yes. I'm like, bro, <laughs> I'm glad you're not an RN anymore. I just think it, it says a whole lot about the level of manipulation that they are, in my opinion, willing to go to. Savannah, do you want to go grab another drink? Every time there's a comment that's pinned, I don't know, that covers my face. I'm gonna be creepy behind it. <laughs> oh god! Oh, it just reminds me of that, like half of that face from the Snapchat filters that you're talking about earlier. It, rem it reminds me of the smile one. It oh yeah, <laughs> of the live, how it looked like I was rubbing your shoulders. The other oh, night, that was so yeah, funny, dude. No, I saw it. I, I watched that live. That oh, was yeah. hilarious. 
so great. I'm trying to find the Snapchat filter now, um, so I can. I, I don't know if people don't know what I'm talking, what we're talking about. But anyway, no, you guys can continue talking about whatever the fuck. I just. <gasps> Erin, oh, you're being a certified freak seven days a week. <laughs> Take it down. That's what happens when you turn 42. <laughs> yeah. You don't care. Nope. <laughs> I'm, I also do that as well. But if any of you guys need to look up the benefits, guys, curcumin is absolutely amazing. It's a powerful antioxidant. It has lots and lots of benefits that you can look up. NAC, guys, is a precursor to glutathione. If you don't know what glutathione does, please go look it up. This little tiny strip has gut health. Every single day that you're taking this, you are improving your gut health as well, okay? So not only does it have those short-term <laughs> instant benefits, but it has long-term benefits of helping with so many things, but yeah, gut health is one, guys. And as you know, your brain and your gut are all intertwined, right? And so your butt. when you get your gut right, you get your brain right. <laughs> and so this is a, a strip that you literally take only need a tiny bit of each of the ingredients. You don't need what's on the shelves because when you take curcumin, you need black pepper in that curcumin for it even to... And I'm being nice when I say this, guys. I'm being nice. Julie, when I you can you go check our group chat and show everyone the picture I just sent? You take from your local so people know what we're talking about. Absorbs about 10%. Okay, guys, when you are taking this, it is giving you all of those three active ingredients on a cellular <laughs> level. You do not need. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking horrifying. <laughs> I just want everyone to know what Snapchat filter we're talking about. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Um, okay. Let me, oh let my me god, that is so creepy. Hi. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I just need you guys to soak that in. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> <It's horrifying. laughs> Not. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Best stream ever. You guys know the one that makes it look like you're crying? Oh, that yes. one's really funny one. too. Was like, I'm like looking like, for like that, that one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I have it somewhere. I love this. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Okay. There's some That's weird wild. Snapchat filters these days. It's like oh that movie. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't watch a scary movie tonight. I, scary I will movie. not be. Because I don't do scary movies, as I you know. I love scary movies. They make me feel something, you know? Mm. Like a, like an emotion. I get that. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> Hold on. Oh Hold my on. god, I've seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's horrifying. It's so funny. <laughs> Oh Sorry. Sorry to derail this shit. I love that for I love us. 10 out of 10. All the giggles, please. I love it. I love it. Anyway. All of that, right? You do not need the, I don't know, somebody said it to me one day. Well, I don't understand. How come it's only 45 milligrams on this little strip? So let me tell you something cool. And also tell somebody us. said to me, I don't know if I'm passing that on Casey, to you. Get ready. Nope. Also Jesus. somebody said to me that, well, I've seen strips out there. You guys think that you're so different. I've seen strips out there. I went on Amazon and I saw these strips. Well, guess what, guys? There are strips out there. They're not an MLM, but there are strips out there. Wonderful. But the difference between our strip and their strip is our technology, right? We have that dynamic Ooh, yes, technology studies. that gets delivered on a cellular level. But not only that, Terry has had a strip machine. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't have said his name. LaCour Enterprises has had Terry a strip LaCour. machine I'll say in his warehouse. I passed it to you. In I'm his pretty sure we all know who Terry LaCour is. Yeah, and in those two and a weird. half years, he could never, ever <clears throat> fit enough. Dang, I got it like that. He could never, ever fit enough product on this little strip, on this little real estate for it to be effective. Real all estate? the strips out on the market only have about 20% effective ingredients, active ingredients on their strip. We have cite 45 your sources. active ingredients. Yeah, cite also, your sources, like, exactly. Yeah, cite your sources, but also maybe that's all you need. That's why people are having to cut this strip in half. Maybe that's why their piss is bright yellow after they take this shit, because they're pissing out all the extra shit. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. That's wild. It's on this little strip. 45. Okay, so when you look at the milligrams, understand you don't need the thousand milligrams. You don't need all of that because this is getting delivered on a cellular yeah, level. Yeah, the B vitamins. And I've had lots and lots of people ask questions about, you know, oh, well, how many times do you need to take this strip? 
you know, this is a once a day. We have a 30 day supply. You take it. Then once why are you a day. telling one to three a day? You have a situation where let's say you were going to, you're getting on a plane and you need to calm yourself or you're getting on a boat and you're like, oh my gosh, I have fear of water. I have fear of being on a boat. Okay. Then you, you could take another one. That's completely fine. But this is a 30 day supply. You only need one strip. I should, are you going to take it? Doesn't it give you energy? <laughs> That's it. That's it. I mean, it is that the same one away, she was guys. licking earlier? It doesn't taste disgusting <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Remember when I told you I was like, no, this tastes disgusting? Snack this literally later. tastes so good. It tastes like a very citrus flavor when you put it on your tongue. Some people oh. say it tastes like a fruit roll-up, but I, I beg to differ because fruit roll-ups are very, very sweet. This does not have any sugar. This, this does not have good. any carbs. <laughs> I feel like it's a light berry citrus flavor. It's not as sweet as a fruit roll-up because it has all that sugar, if that makes sense. So we don't mm. have sugar in here. This nice is literally results. like gluten-free, GMO-free. You can take this when you're on a keto diet because there's no sugars that you're going to be adding. Um, if any of you guys take NAC already, drop it in the comments. Put, put a little me, say me in the comments if you guys already take NAC. Because if you guys do, you know how many benefits NAC has. It's absolutely amazing. Um, there has been so many studies, NIH studies on NAC. It does so many things for your body. It is not a drug. I hear that out there. Yes, Aaron. I Tag totally me in. Thank you. Oh okay. my God. Because I know Stacy's gonna lose her shit in the chat. I know she's oh, already. Oh, it's not a drug, you First say? All, it's classified as a drug. Okay. By the um, FDA. Second of all, the studies that they are using are not studies that have been done on the strips. They are studies that have been done on a certain dosage given in a specific delivery method that is not the strips so you can't say hey this strip is going to help you with blah 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 and it's backed by this study because that study has a completely different set of, of circumstances than what is listed with this strip you 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 can't do that just because th the three active ingredients are listed as these three things you can't just take whatever study and say, okay, well, we have this ingredient, but we're not going to tell you how much of each ingredient is in here. But on this, we're going to use this study to show that this is an effective product to help you with whatever, because yes. it's a completely different set of circumstances. The, the dosage, the delivery method, all of that. It's all very, very different. So it's really fascinating to me that they are using these studies about NAC because none of those studies were done on the strip so yeah. you can't use them exactly exactly also this this comment almost took me out he shakes his head every once in a while otherwise i think <laughs> the wall sticker <laughs> one, of the, one of the the sports players like the they have the nfl what are they called that stick on the wall do you guys know what i'm talking I know, about like oh i know i know what you're talking about I don't know. sorry uh i just ordered pizza <laughs> No, you're gonna, oh, that's that sounds a little right quiet. Now. Excuse me. Stacy said it takes way longer than six minutes for that to take effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would think so. Yeah, Stacy and Katie are probably gonna lose their minds in the <laughs> in the comments. Y'all are amazing. Thank you for teaching me everything that you guys have taught me. Yeah, seriously, guys. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, go ahead. Like, and, and let's just be honest while we're on here. Let's just start talking real stuff, right? People have been like. Oh, well, I hear. Have we been talking fake NAC stuff this whole time? Well, yeah. Yeah. They are looking into doing that, guys, because it's amazing. They want to take it off the market. The, F the like, FDA want it, right? They want it because it does so many amazing things. It's kind of like, no, do you guys want to give any reminiscent drug. times of when we used to sell CBD way yes. back then, right? It does. It really does. Because I remember <laughs> JJ. we were CBD. We get, oh, my gosh. Go I did it. I did it. <laughs> We're looking for a good fry. My bad. <laughs> fine. You're totally Priorities. Fine. They're taking it off of the market, the supplement market, because it's classified as a drug and it's not supposed to be in supplements. So, like, if you're going to say things, Shanna, say it. Right. Right. Thank you, JJ. I appreciate right. you. Are they actively taking it off the shelves or what? Because last I heard they were they tried to and then and then the supplement industry sued the FDA for trying to do that. Apparently Allegedly. Into it. Yeah. What okay. Jason? Okay. Yeah. But you know, I don't know. And I'm going to say I don't know instead of why. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, so and I think that if it's, if it's classified as a drug, then it needs to be treated as a drug. And that's that the whole point that, of the controversy. Yeah. Yeah. If it's classified as a drug, it needs to be something that you get from your doctor and it should not be available in any form on Amazon or any other store. Yeah. It, it needs to be prescribed by a doctor because it's classified as a drug. That's just my opinion. 
that's why we have the FDA to determine where these things fall. Absolutely. <laughs> that's yeah. the point but of the exactly. agency. It just makes or, sense. You know? That's wild. Yeah. To get so many messages about oh my gosh cbd like this is before the uh the hemp bill the farm bill came out we were you know were they in ariel <laughs> <"Hey>, <laughs> people used to message me and they're like you guys here's my thought this is what i think they did so they were in hemp works okay is my thought they went to ariel because i Which swear is... to god i saw them in ariel probably i mean a lot of people jump ship from hemp works to ariel and, and then I, I heard there was think, a lot of, like, controversy with Ariel, like, not paying their people and shit like that or something. Yeah. Something along those lines. So it wouldn't surprise me if they were like, we're leaving. I do think that there's a lot of people coming from Ariel over to Elamir as well. A I along with other companies. Yeah. My pause game strong, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I'm pretty sorry. good. Thank you, Shannon. Much, much appreciated. That'll make a good <laughs> sell sell that yeah. that is not allowed you you're gonna lose your job as a nurse you're gonna you know i remember all of those times and i remember there were even being gray areas where people would like message me they would send me this like article on cbd and say look it's illegal in our state are you gonna get in trouble for selling this and i'm like no no we're not gonna get in trouble and i was like i really hope not right, right. but here's the truth of the matter guys right is that we didn't get in trouble the hemp bill came out right like the farm bill came out and it wound up being sold everywhere wait, wait, wait. and here's another situation like that guys they're trying to get a hold of yeah. Hear me out. So when she was selling CBD, somebody sent her studies and sent her information about it being illegal and whatnot. And of course she was like, oh, well, that doesn't apply to us. But the studies on NAC apply to the strip. I think it makes sense. <laughs> they're, uh, I mean, they're very selective. They're cherry picking. Go figure. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Very on brand. You know, it's like what people do with the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bio Reigns. Hemp works to Bio Reigns. Yeah. That's the company. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bio That's Rains. what they were in was Bio Reigns. Bio Reigns, I think, had a similar product, but it was a different delivery method or they're using... Wait. Elamir is using technology from Bio Reigns. I got it kind of backwards. And so <laughs> that's how this has progressed. I don't this, know if they were part of Bio Rain. This is Pippi, not Pop Tart. <laughs> she put her in. So cute. I know. She's my old lady. Cats. She's like 13. Oh, damn. She's my old girl. Sorry. I really just want my cats to snuggle me, but they don't. Isn't that sad? All my cats do, but they won't snuggle me at the same time. They all hate <laughs> each other, but they love their mama. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Of it of course they're trying to get a hold of it because it's amazing they want to take it off the shelves but guys it's not banned if you go to your local food store or your local you know, like nutrition store you're going to find nac we actually just had it all through our household when we just had um when we just got sick i'm not going to say with law but we got sick and we all took it right but right. the problem is is that again nac is very hard to absorb if you're taking it in a capsule form so this allows it to be delivered on a uh, cellular level to your body and if you know what nac does you're excited about that already i don't even have to say anything else you're excited about that already right and we already have a backup plan, guys. So don't worry about all the naysayers who are like, it's illegal. So was CBD back then, right? Everybody's like, it's illegal. You guys can't sell that. And next thing you know, the farm bill comes out. Everybody and their mother's selling it. It's even in Bed Bath Beyond. It's yep. in your local gas station. You know, so look at that. So funny. I feel like I'm on TikTok. Like one of those, I don't use a filter. How dare you? Stop with the filter. filter. I'm just putting a no little No one cares. Guys. But anyway, Nobody cares. I do want to tell you that this strip, if you want to know more about this strip, Aww. okay, get into our inbox. I can add you to a group. Oh, thank Guys, you. Our group, it, this has gone viral. Our group has probably over 22,000 people between the 13,000 that are in it and the people who are requesting to be in it. Guys, this went viral way, way quicker than we ever even imagined. Don't this get me wrong. Going viral. 10 months ago, we knew what we had our hands on. We tried that raw product and we told her, oh my gosh. I, I've never, ever felt this way before in my life. And I know, I know what this is going to do out there. But then she added the backing, which was LaCour Enterprises. And we were like, okay, this is going to get big. But, oh, we didn't expect it to get this big. We are viral, guys. Like, I've never, oh if God, you haven't seen man. our script already. Oh, wait, I want to give you an example. I had somebody who came in my inbox and told me, I literally live in a town that, like, nobody's heard of. Like, the town nobody's heard of, right? Like, we're this little tiny town. And somebody literally said to me, have you heard about those yellow strips? 
<laughs> and I was like, what? Like that is how viral we have gotten that we are off of social media, guys. People in little tiny towns know about our yellow strip. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if you want in, you need to get in now, we're going to invite you into our ATM group, um, which is a testimonial group, right? So that you can see all the testimonials, learn a little bit more about the product. Man. Know that we are in what's called a pre-enrollment phase right now, guys, okay? So. <laughs> Sorry. I think Aaron's quitting at life now. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that they call the group the ATM group. Thanks, Hannah is like they're telling them their leads what it is ad tag message this is our atm wouldn't you call it a testimonial group wouldn't you call it our customer group or something along those lines or say the name no 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 they're saying they're saying it's an atm group which is like distributor talk. That's that's what they're telling their leads that are watching this live. Oh, um, and then we can add you to this ATM group. Uh, what, what's ATM? Oh, add tag message. I'm just gonna add you. I'm gonna tag you in a video and then I'm gonna message you and follow up with you. What? <laughs> what? You mean it's not a free money group? Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe that they say that with their whole chest on a Facebook live. Like, talk about like saying, scaring people away. Yeah. That's like saying, hey, guys, I'm going to put up a curiosity post today. So, you know, just be on the lookout for that. And people Make are gonna be like, curious. yeah, what's a curiosity post? Oh, I'm just posting information about what I'm doing because I want to, you know, if you like or comment on it, I'm going to message you because that clearly tells me that you're interested. Because you guys are obviously so interested in what I'm doing. Because everybody you're needs so this. You're so curious. I'm such an interesting person. I can't. I can't. Hempwork sued her? Fuck. Yeah, we have some research to do. Yeah, really. That's what does weird. that mean? That just means that we got so viral that our backing had to order more machines to be shipped yes. to Dallas for them to put our strips into production. And, and that's huge, guys, because if you understand oh. what that means, they have already invested millions millions of dollars into this company because they know what's about to happen or what has already happened. Um, so we are getting those machines into Dallas so that we can catch up on our production. And once we do, we will open up to customers. You guys are so right cute. now we are just in our pre-enrollment phase, which means if you are interested in being a brand partner, let me know and I can hook you up and I can get you into the group before we ever open up to our customers, okay? Which will, we're all crossing our fingers that that's gonna be very, very soon because they're getting these machines and they're catching up on the production, but we are just in so much demand that we are just sitting here like praying and crossing our fingers that we can uh, start to catch up so that we can open up to customers. But I will say this, that I love the fact that our CEO, she refuses refuses to take anyone's money Damn. because she does not want to open to customers and take people's money when she does not have the product sitting there in her hand to ship out to you. And if you guys but don't understand what that though. means, I know lots of other companies She'll that take sit it there from distributors. distributors. Like literally six over 6,500 people. Yeah. People have ordered three boxes and only gotten one. So why are you taking their money then? And then at one point she was, when I, let me be specific in what I'm saying. What has been alleged to me was Van was saying that she was going to see if everybody was okay with not getting the multiple boxes that they ordered on July 5th as distributors for this company in order to open it up to customers. I wonder why there would be such a push to open up to, to customers so quickly it, it, and in a way that they were Oh, you spent $250? Okay, well, just hang tight. Let's open up for customers because we're all going to make money. Oh, wait, I wonder if it's because they're operating as a pyramid scheme and they mm. know it. Interesting. That mm. tracks. Jeez. Just a thought. <laughs> Pre-order and they take all this money from the customers, right? And they don't care. They don't care. They're like, well, if they don't get their product for 40 days, they don't get their product for 40 days. Well, no, our CEO is different and she does not want to take people's money when she doesn't have the product to ship out to you guys. Yeah, so once she does, what? yes, absolutely incredible. And once she does, she will go ahead and announce that we are all caught up and that we're open up to customers and we'll be able to, sh she'll have that product in hand ready for us to be able to ship out to you. So if you guys don't know, 
if you don't see that integrity right there, there's what? a couple companies that I don't want to mention that have done that, right? And put themselves in a pre-order status where they've taken money from their customers and didn't have the product there. And then guess what happened? They had to refund <laughs> every single person their money. Tag so we're not a <laughs> Tag Aaron is what I was trying to say. Um, integrity is doing the right thing when people aren't watching. Thank you, Chrissy. But I don't really think that you're using that correctly. And also, wow, the sex bots are here. Sex bots! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, there's so many! Wow, look oh, wow. at them. Look Hello. There. there we go. Oh my god. Um, but anyways, I find it really interesting that she's saying okay it's okay for us to take money from the distributors and to have them waiting for however many days what'd she say 40 days uh and you know, 40 for nights be, yeah 40 days <laughs> <and> 40 nights <laughs> <laughs> waiting so long for the products after paying all kinds of money and then what <laughs> how is that okay I just don't get it because like they're sitting here like our company doesn't do that other companies do and then it's like but your company does do that right that's, it's happening thanks hunter thank you here's hunter. the thing too uh, i forgot what i was gonna say it'll come back it'll come back, <laughs> it'll come back. <laughs> oh i remember so they have a one box option now and the, I think the points that they get are like 45 points, but in order for you to be commission qualified, you have to sell 65 points or have 65 points in volume. Uh, and the since month. they have no customers, they have to order two boxes. They have to order two boxes. <laughs> but I, I venture to say that they're probably not being told that. So yeah, come in at the, you know, at the $89 option, pay, pay your $49 uh, just annual distributor fee. And then all of a sudden, uh, oh, by the way, in order for you, oh, we open to customers. This is how I think it's going to happen. We open to customers. Hey, I don't, I didn't, I didn't get it. Hey, why didn't I get any pay? Oh, what was your volume for last month? Oh, you only ordered one box. Yeah, you needed to order two to be commission qualified. Bro read the fine print read your comp plan <laughs> yeah really we like... have no joke <laughs> and also that comp plan it's not like it's hard to read there's just like the most straightforward simple comp plan yes. which by the way not a good thing not a compliment still a not scam a God. by the way jj and i did i we did a live or a video i don't remember no we did a video and we yeah, covered yeah, the comp yeah. plan vegas yep yeah. Yeah, Savannah, have you done have you done a video on their comp plan? No, you you should. Um, I, in the one that I'm editing right now, that's going to come out next week, I kind of go over some of it, but okay, like, good. yeah, just just because like they start making claims about l ranking up and stuff, I'm like, well, what the fuck? What did you do to do that when yep. there's no customers? So, yeah. that's pretty much the extent of it, though. Yeah, they've waived that. Yeah. I don't know if it's for this month or this month and next month. They're also rolling volume between July and August. Yeah, I heard them say that too. I heard Van say that. I have had bright, bright, hot, I've had hot pink hair. I actually almost did it this last time, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just really loving the platinum. So thank I you. I love the platinum on you. I think it looks thank great. You. You My husband it. said it looks like I am tan and I'm like, <laughs> I don't tan, but you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does make you look tanner. Yeah. Thank you. I, I'm thank having you. some fun with it. Yeah, it's fun. About Thanks, to do that, guys. We are. What? Thanks, Nikki. She said she sent us a link on Instagram. Oh. Thank you, Nikki. Thanks. Just pre-enrolling our brand partners. So if you are interested, please drop interested below and I will put you in our um, testimonial group so you can learn a little bit more oh. about the product, about the company. I dig it very chill, actually. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You can see that, huh? I could see it when when um, Deb came over. She took one in front of us and we were cracking up because right in front of us, she's like, oh, I feel pretty good. And I'm like, yeah, we can see that. <laughs> You're glowing. So yes, Cindy, nobody should be taking anybody's money unless they have the product. So I am very proud to stand behind the CEO, this company, this product. Um, you know, if you have racing thoughts, that's what I'm going to call it. Cause Brandon, that's why I call Brandon. He has the busy brain. I He's do. I drive her nuts in the morning, guys. Like I wake up in the morning. I'm like, babe, I got to get this, 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 this done. And she's like, oh my gosh, I have anxiety. All right. I, I do. I'm not, don't say that word. I not on here. <laughs> Well, what I'm did he say? Overwhelmed. Yes. Listening to him. She can't handle all I have no idea, but I want to hear it. I'm going to slow it down. Yeah, yeah like Asian she group. needs to be sped up when she's talking, but he he already like talks fast naturally, it sounds like. Let me. 
Let me see if this is right. Then she's like, oh my gosh, I have anxiety. All right, I, I do. I'm anxiety? Not word. Not on here. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, because it's against uh, one of those words that you're not allowed to say. Yeah. It promotes <laughs> mental health instead. I can't wait to see the new list of compliant terms that it better be like corporate. seven pages long dude i know well <laughs> their corporate office is putting together allegedly a new list of compliant phrases and things that they can they can say so i'm excited to get that list in my hand so we can talk about it because yeah we'll see how long they follow that <laughs> yeah they don't yeah they already don't mm -mm. case in point right <laughs> exactly Damned. Yes. Listening to him. She can't handle all my thoughts running through my head. So much, He's I'm like expressing everything. Babe, I'm like, babe. I gotta get oh, wait. And this, he rubs this, his head. This, rub your head. This, rub your head. This, this, this. That's his head, right? But he rubs his head. And he's like, That's his head? Oh, what? And I, and, I, and I still have to finish this one piece. And I still have to finish this one piece because he does his woodwork too, guys, which we're hoping to start opening soon. But he does his woodwork, right? And he's like, I gotta finish this piece and I gotta do the, the lawn. And oh my God, I gotta run to the to the gas station. Oh, I gotta go to the post office. And I'm like, oh, take a strip. That's when you're like literally ready to pop the strip. Just throwing right? Yeah, just throwing it at him. Like catch it in your mouth. Sex like, box pop that back. strip, right? Because <laughs> that's, that's Brandon in the morning. Welcome. And see, for me, <laughs> I'm not as much that way, but I'm very much the mom, mom, what? <laughs> or babe, babe, what, you know? And it takes away those little like triggers throughout your day that you have that- Triggers like, or parenting. Maybe like something <laughs> that really, really you notice affects you. Like up. you can feel that heaviness, that heaviness on your shoulders and you just feel so like worked up throughout your day. For me, that just releases. Somebody said, somebody said, it feels like your good friend is giving you a big bear hug. That's what somebody described it as. And I thought that was interesting because I can see that. I can see how it feels. I don't know that about so, that. Anyways, guys, I made this so long, but, and I knew it was going to be, I'm not, who am I kidding? Right. Cause I'm a talker, but if any of you guys need any information and if somebody invited you to this, let me just start there. If somebody invited you to this, please get back with them on the information about this strip and about the ATM group that they can add you to, to learn yes. more. But if you are on my page, my friend, let me know. And I will <laughs> get you in that ATM group. Yes, I did. Okay, good. So if you are my friend, you can contact me as well. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> we don't want to leave Brandon out. We don't want to leave Brandon out. If you're his friend, contact him and we will put you into the ATM group. I hope I gave you a little bit of information and insight on it, what it is that we're doing. We are back. We started our reels. We started our TikToks. I know a lot of people have been saying they missed us on uh, TikTok and our reels, doing our little couple comedy. We have started that again. We've just been so busy yes, yeah. with this launch. And I hate that word busy because it's so it, it's such a good thing. It's such a good thing. We've been oh, crazy. And oh, I forgot to mention, guys. I've never seen so many rank ups in my life. We have been That's not so a flex. blessed. We, we have literally not a flex, bro. Off from distributors because your company is waiving part of the comp plan. And Shanna, I need you to think about what you are saying right now. <laughs> I, I just need you to like, I know that this is an old video, but like, think about what you are saying before you are saying it. You are bragging about ranking up. And from customers. only distributors. One of her TikToks has a million views. You should real, edit. No. I'm looking at it right now. Oh, fine. You better hurry because she's going to block you. It's, right this. <laughs> it's her young daughter wearing a crop top. Oh. Which is sketchy. Okay. Yeah. And now she's wearing a crop top. And now the dad's wearing a crop top. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Karina says, shut it, Shanna. <laughs> Shanna, Shanna, shh, 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 shh. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just curious because she's like, so many of you guys said you missed us on TikTok. I'm like, who? Literally who? Their newest video, uh, he's vacuuming. I don't know, doing some work. Ha ha ha, this is so funny. This is this is the the content I subscribe for. Oh my god, it's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at her face. It's Savannah's so face right now. I can't I just oh god, I hate <laughs> these people. <laughs>
that's her curiosity posts. That's that's what oh. they're doing. They're creating comedy to try and, and, you know, create curiosity. So people ask them about the strips. Every now and then they'll throw out something about, you know, Elamir and the strips. And then they'll Post have an about audience. It, Jana. Don't worry. I'll come stitch. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> are, are the duets and, and stitches on turned on? What? Uh, are her duets and stitches turned on? Doesn't um, matter. I'll, t I'll, I'll screen record and tag her. I love that. Can you tag me? Because I'd, like um, I'd like to get in No, on it says duet is not allowed for this video. That's oh. on their newest one. So Why are your duets off, Shanna? Uh, yeah, her duets are off on the next one. And the next one. Mm. And the next one. Yeah, her duets are off. <laughs> Yeah, totally fine. I'll screen record and tag her. I don't have yes, love there that. Love that for Post us. Post about Elamir, though, and I will. Can't wait to comment on that one. My pizza's on its way. Oh, that sounds Hell really yeah. good. Good. So We're at the very end of the video, so that worked, that's working out perfectly. Hell love yeah. That. <laughs> we passed the highest volume that we have ever been in network marketing. I wonder why. why. Gun. That's yeah. exciting. Like, I don't think it's really kicked in yet. I think that there's just going to be this one day where Brandon and I just start bawling because of all of the struggles we have been through in this last year and a half. Uh, we got to the point where we thought we were going to have to sell our house. We have pulled money out of, out of accounts that we <laughs> never thought that we would touch. But you know what? It was all for a reason. And we're here now. And we're going to help so many other people who have been struggling. And that's what we live for. I mean, if if we if I want to, <laughs> I'm smiling so hard now. I can't even. Smile. Are I'm you sure that's not a Snapchat right, filter? If, if that's what I live for. I live for. <laughs> oh my god! I live for seeing all of these people who <laughs> have trusted in something that's been so She's up crying. and down. It's been a ride, guys. If you have been in our launch team for a while, you know what I mean. This is her it's husband been right a now. Roller coaster. <laughs> it's been a roller coaster ride. All the hate <laughs> that you guys have lived through. Scary, bro. All of the things that you have overcome. I'm so proud of this team. I'm proud of what we represent. I don't. <sighs> I'm really proud of the. I'm really proud of the amount of money I'm getting paid. It's gonna be the biggest amount of money I've ever gotten paid in one month. That's all I'm hearing. And yeah. I don't have a single customer. It's amazing. It's how did wonderful. we? How did we get here? All of a, all of a sudden, she's balling on this. Like, what happened? What's the end of the video? She needs to take another strip. Make her happy. Wild. <laughs> it's the end of the video, and she's trying to, you know, Evo. get the emotions out, be relatable, be all happy. I mean, yeah. is there a tear, or is she faking it? Let's see. I wish I care what anyone has to say. I'm There's proud no of tears. everything that we have done here, and I cannot wait to see you guys' first paychecks. And she's not even blinking have more, you know, and have been a supportive, just safe place. A safe place that we can just rely on each other through all of the that Try content your tears that with the us that's out there. Jesus. I thank every single one of you guys who have been here and just pushed through. And I can't wait to see your first paychecks, guys. And I'm gonna get off here because I'm crying now. <laughs> and I didn't want to do that because you know what? My face is gonna be on some anti MLMs. You know, I, I might as well say hi now. That I'm on yes. some anti thing. Oh, that's so nice fine, of her to guys. say hi to all 507 of you. Hey, Shanna, stop faking it. I'm not <laughs> someone who calls out crying and it's like, oh, like, they're such a big bro. Stop acting like you care about other people's money. You only care about your own damn bank account. And it's, I'm going to lose it. Hey, Shanna, welcome to the video. Stop lying to people and being deceptive. I love that. Word. I love how you said that with your whole chest, too. That was hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm feeling it. I'm like, <laughs> Janet says, hey, Shanna, you got this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Her little, uh, the little uh, emoji that she uses, Janet. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, uh, it has like 30 seconds. It's because I know what a powerful, this is a powerful thing that we have, that we have in our hands right now. So it truly is. Anyways, guys. Okay, I'm going to sign. Thanks for that, Brandon. It truly is. <laughs> is that like his only input the whole time? Damn it. End the live. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a lot. Are you guys okay? First, let's check in with everybody. Are y'all good? <laughs> I was not prepared. Brandon, are you okay? I'm still down there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Poor guy. I hope he's okay. Anyway. <laughs> 
this trio right here needs to happen more often. I can tell you that right now. Tell me when and where. What do you guys there? think? <laughs> do a poll. I don't know how to do that. I don't think we can do that on here. I don't know, but <laughs> I mean, hell yeah. I mean, I'm down for whenever. You're muted? I can't hear you. Oh yeah, you're muted AF, babe. Damn it, I'm oh, a <laughs> Aaron and I are just talking over you like, la la la. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my God. I, it was such a fun video. I'm so glad that we could do that one because I, they don't get airtime, you know, like they don't, they don't do those lives on purpose. Yeah. Because they know that people are going to take them like us do the entire live and show all the different points where they're lying and being deceptive. No, no, we splice everything, JJ. We're Haven't cool. you heard? We're splicers and dicers. Oh, I couldn't believe she but said never that. Show Splice what? Video. Splicers and dicers? I don't know. That's just what came out of my mouth. I can't. <laughs> but, yeah, no. I mean, this kind of shit, like, it's literally a live stream from a Facebook. Like, we, we, none of us cut anything. Oh, Samantha, thank you. Also, Karina, we'd love you to join us. Just, like, if you need a fourth, let me know. Yes, we all oh, Sure. Do. Yeah, hell yeah. Oops. Uh, I didn't mean to click that, but yeah, deep fakes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that liar. Listen, I... Oh, that was so fun. <sighs> Anytime. I'm gonna go eat dinner now. I'm gonna okay. go home. Oh, yeah, my pizza's almost here. That's gonna be so good. What kind of pizza did you get? Uh, just cheese, because my husband's <gasps> vegetarian. I love that. And... There's nothing wrong with, like... Uh, there's something... Uh, not there's nothing wrong. There's something beautiful about a simple cheese pizza. Yeah, dude, it's so good. But, like, when I have, like, the veggie pizzas, I get really bad, like, acid reflux for some reason. Yeah. Like, the yeah, it, it, there's not many foods that give me heartburn, but a veggie pizza will give me heartburn. It's I weird. it's the green peppers. Mm hmm Yeah. But I eat green peppers with a bunch of other stuff, and it never does and it to me. It's only pizza. Yeah, it's super weird. But anyway, uh, so just we just do cheese here. Sometimes I'll get a, a small pepperoni for me and Sparrow, but, like, meh. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to all of our members because yeah, we greatly love you. Also, um, thank you. I, I'll, we don't in the stream we don't get to see like the anniversary thing. So like if you've been a member for like eight months and you use that, we don't get oh, to see yeah. it. But oh, so I love that. Welcome, Erica. Not welcome. You've been in it for eight months. God bless you, Erica. Uh, <laughs> you so y'all rock, and we're gonna go. I'm gonna go eat dinner because I've just been sucking on French fries, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna watch this great movie. Y'all have a nice dinner. Y'all are awesome. It's literally so much fun. Yep, anytime. Uh, and uh, that's all I got. Same. Don't join an MLM. And definitely mm -hmm. don't join Elamere, in my opinion. In our opinion. You know, I think you can collectively say, in all of our opinions, you should not join Elamere. Thanks Absolutely very much. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.